Morning, brothers. Amen. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Good morning, chat. Welcome back. Ooh, we got to update our member goal for today. Because we have some more giveaways to do. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. How do you get the green eye next to your name? Oh, you just got to click or tap join and become a member. And members get extra perks, such as uh, this weekend when we're going to do a big old grain harvest with everybody. Should be some good times. Should be some good times. All right, let me check some stuff. Oh, yes. As I suspected. All right, the boys are nowhere to be found. It is a, a weekday, and... Harry and Rick and everyone else are back at work and or school or whatever. So we're going to continue on with our uh, dairy farm today. Ah, yes. There we go. Mmm. Some coffee, brother. Ooh, that'd be a good thing to make in the game. Coffee. Coffee would be really cool. Yeah, every subscriber gets one stock to harvest. That's actually a good point. We probably have about a million... Uh, yeah, when we go corn harvesting, that might be a thing. You thought I was doing the dairy farm to begin with already? Well, that's true. But I also knew you guys might be busy. Like, Rick, you, you spent like an entire week playing, so I figured you'd want to get back to your actual real life of actual farming, not just video game farming. But Harry will be back around. Everyone will be back around. It'll, it'll all be good. Every, everyone will, everyone shall return at some point. Well, yesterday we made some great progress on the farm. We stored up a ton of food for probably the rest of the year for all the cows that we have. And we got much more to do. Um, and I think we want to get sheep too, but uh, we're going to need some more room for that. But we got, what, 30 cows? Yeah. We just need to wait a little bit of time for them to uh, get everything that they need. Like, for example, this cow pasture says that their health is at zero, but I'm assuming that'll go up after a month because now they have food and water, so it'll just take a little bit of time for it to increase. Yeah, we have 30 cows. Um, not all of them are milk cows. Some of the... Uh, there's like Angus and a few other cows here that are used for meat that um, the game just kind of spawned us with, but we can sell them a little bit later, especially since I'm not even sure what their ages are. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can see here. 18 months. Uh, 18, 12, 0. Some of, are in, some of them are in pretty good shape. All right, so let's see. So yesterday, wow, we did a crazy amount of mowing, and we got all these nicely stacked up. I think what we need to do today is sheep. We really do. We need to find a nice place to put them that's nice and flat, and that's going to be a rarity. We could actually maybe put them down here, I think was the plan. So, and we want to start putting uh, wool down here, or we'll be making wool so that way we can sell at the spinnery. That'll be pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be a really good spot down here to remake that. Could also get some chickens too, but I don't really have any feed. It's all, it's all going to have to be grass animals to start with. And if we start with sheep, I, I think I want to go with the, the big O. So we need to take out a little bit of a loan. And we'll need money to buy the barn and also the sheep. So we'll go for 200000 Let's see. Bum, bum. Yeah, 
Yeah, chickens are very profitable. Yep, we found that out in our other farm that we make quite a bit of money from chickens. Hmm, I think we want to do it this way. Yeah, we'll be able to do chickens when we actually have a decent field set up. Uh, we'll need to make a lot of grain for them. But, since this area is primarily grasslands... Trying to build a nice little uh, sheep paddock. Ooh, that'll look good. Wow, we can hold 65 sheep here. cool. Ah, so we can add another small one out the back. Wow, wait, what? The sheep barn. Oh. Not only does the sheep barn not require water, but it's also smaller. Look at that. This paddock takes up a ton of space compared to this. Wow. Geez, you may as well go with the barn. It's much, much better on the space. Why should have did that up top too? Actually, that was a little bigger, but wow. <laughs> All right, let's make our barn look nice. Now we're getting sheep. That should be cool. Very cool. Lots of nice flat area down here too to store equipment. That's good. Okay, I think we'll leave that as is for now. I'll probably need to uh, buy a bale fork and a bale trailer for the sheep. All sorts of different sheep here. Zero months, eight months, zero months, eight months. So at eight months, they must be able to start providing. Uh, They must be starting to provide wool. Mm. 
Oh, well, they're gonna be spendy. Alright, let's go with these ones. Since they're Swiss after all. They're the, they're the chocolate ones, so they must be they must make chocolate. So we can hold a total of 65. Hmm. Let's do like maybe. Do 25 of the Swiss black brown. And 25 of these ones. And then we only have room for 15. There we go. Hey, look at that. All right, we better feed these guys. Let's go. Better make them some breakfast. I think that barn doesn't need water. I think it's automatically connected to water, so I don't think we have to, I don't think we have to bring water over anymore, which is nice. Oh, yeah, good morning to you too, chat. Welcome again to all the new members and subscribers. Thank you guys for smashing that join button. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for not missing a stream. Thanks for always turning on that notification bell. Thanks for always watching the videos. Every single one of them. I know, I know most of you here never miss a stream or a video. That's cool. Excuse me. We'll add a lot of decorations and stuff to this uh, sheep paddock in the future so it doesn't look so um, alone and isolated. It sticks out like a sore thumb, but we'll blend it in. Alright, so how much food can they have? Let's see. I'm going to bring up a couple more bales. Let's bring over some more bales for him. There we go. Oh, the grass is so pretty.
Nice. Can't believe the parking lot for this place is like so bumpy over there. It's weird. Really weird. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. Baby, baby. You love the music? Me too. Me too. Ooh. These sheep must hold quite a bit. I wonder if there's a capacity to... Is there a way to see capacity for food? Like what the max is? So it has a capacity of probably about 12,000 liters. Okay. So in the next month, their health will increase because they... It doesn't really count until the next month that they have food. So, okay. So they've got food. So wait, what about the cows? Oh yeah, they're maxed too. Oh, they want more hay. Mm. So we definitely better make hay then. I wonder if we can do that over there behind us. Oh, grass effectiveness is only 40. Hay is hay is 80%. Okay. Oh, hay is really good then. Oh yeah, we could store bales down here. It'd probably look really nice. We're going to eventually like make this area look a lot nicer. We're going to definitely put some more stuff down here. We'll add trees along the road and it'll look nicer. I wish I could have put it over there, but we're going to keep that for our cows. So, uh... But if we're going to do hay bales... Hmm. Uh, yeah, the... So long as you feed the animals, the production of their, their byproduct are automatic. So uh, milk is automatically generated at their pens, and same with wool. In other words, if you keep them happy... It'll just automatically produce. Like right here, we can see that milk. We have we have 37 liters of milk here at the bottom on the right menu for the cow pasture. And here we have zero, but we just need a little bit more time to pass. And I think milk will pop out here. As well as like... I don't know if you can gather manure unless you have like a barn. I'm not sure. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. I want to know if I can actually cut down grass that's not my... Uh... Well, 
Would like to also make some, like, bales to sell for money, too. Uh, no, we can, we can sell the wool and the dairy in town. Some pretty cool options to do, uh, selling and stuff in the town. We got, like, a, a cheese factory. There's a chocolatier and, um few other things too. Well, right, I want to see if we can do hay and wait a minute. Wait, animals always need water. Barns have built in water supplies. Some animals also require straw. Feed them any Yeah, so for straw we need we need the straw for gathering manure, I think. Or actually maybe maybe the pigs need it for their pen. Feed them any of the following types for best result. Okay. I wonder... We can make silage, too, from the grass. So we may as well, cu we may as well cut that and, and maybe get a baler and start making some more money on the side, too. Like, the other option would be to, like, just start skipping, you know, days and waiting, waiting for time to pass, but... I don't want I don't want to skip any time if we don't have to. How do you mix it? Uh you can mix their food with a uh there's actually a couple options. There's um under the animals tab, let's see. There's uh let's see. There's these mixing wagons. Some of these like mix rations together or food together. And then there's the bit there's a big O vehicle that does it all in one. Um where is that? Yeah, this thing. These. These basically, like, pull up and you basically, like, put bales and stuff in them of whatever you're looking to mix. And then it'll mix it in the top. The tow behinds are pretty easy, though. All you need is, like, a telehandler for those. Alright, let's see if we can mow this grass. I want to try to make all the bales, dude. It's the baling stream. Ah. Happy Monday, bro. So we can't mow unless we own it. Uh, Stevie, thanks for the four ninety nine, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Woo! Big O. Okay, so... Yeah, that land's not too big there. That's not... That's not even that big of a spot here. But we will need this for cows, and we could buy our first field. But the problem with this... If we buy this land, uh... Oof. Well, actually, I don't know if we can actually... Wait, can we... Can we plant anything? Yeah, we can we can grow uh, wheat and barley next month, or canola now. I'd rather do wheat, wheat or barley. Um, that actually would be a great idea. How long does milk take to fill up in your tanker? I'm not sure. I this is my first time doing cows, so we'll have to figure that out together. How big is this field? Oh, it's actually a pretty decent field. Ooh. Actually, if we buy this land, we get, like, two grass fields, and I could have put, like, the sheep up here. Although that land is pretty windy. Oh, yeah. No, I'd rather keep that for feeding the... Yeah, that's not as flat. That would have been okay, then. All right, well, I think we should buy some more land, and then we got to start planting and stuff. Oh, man, now it's going to cost us hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, maybe we should... Uh, we might need to, like, wait a year or two. We could keep doing mowing, but it's, it's a pain in the neck to mow up there. So we're going to need to wait a year for all this to grow back. 
There's a little bit of a little bit of grass that we missed. We could probably make another bale from our baler. Yo, Brandon with the five. Hello again. How are you today? I'm I'm good, dude. I'm I'm really happy to be working on this farm. I really think it's cool. Yeah, we have no real rush. What did this person grow here? Oats? Oh, they were growing oats. Okay. But it, the harvest is over. We can buy more grassland here. That'd be a good area to buy too. That's good. Oh, that area is good too. Field 23. I feel like I want to expand to the west first and then maybe to the maybe to the east. We'll buy the two adjacent fields, yeah. What's that little sandy spot there? Is that just for trees? Oh, I, yeah, it's a forest. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to cut any of that down. It's too pretty. But anyway, we have ideas to build like a... I want to do cow paddocks or like a cow barn here. And then we can feed them with the uh, extra uh, hay bales and stuff that we can get. But we should also make straw to sell, but we're out of, uh, we're like out of space and land. I mean, I could purchase this land here and start selling bales. We could do that. Because there is, the animal trader will buy, the animal trader will buy those bales for quite a bit of money. If we take a look at the marketplace, uh, what will what we'll sell for a good amount of money? Straw. Hay and grass, yeah, they'll buy it for all. Ooh, looks like they'll buy grass for 159. Wow, they buy they buy grass for 159? Does that mean the bales too? Oh, they they don't separate it. Oh, okay. So actually if we make more grass bales, we can make a lot more money that way. So that'd be kind of cool. So that would be interesting. Okay, so we got some options to make cash. Um, that's interesting. Hmm. Yep, I don't see any other... Okay, I don't see any other options for like bales versus like actual raw grass, but watching the local rally race? Uh, I guess so. Well, I think we should make some more bales and maybe, well, we rented that baling trailer last time and all that stuff, but our, our, our equipment wasn't really, Well, if we buy that land and expand, I think I think that's going to be a good business for us, though. So it's 105, what? $105 per thousand liters. And one hay bale is 3,500. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I was doing math, sorry. Uh, we could wrap them. It depends on what silage sells for, though, and how much more. Let's see if it actually marks silage. Oh, there is silage. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh. You're right. We could start doing uh, grass silage and sell it for six forty three at the biogas plant. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Way more. Well, that'll probably pay off, then. If we buy that land over there... Yeah, if we buy this land, we can then buy some big O mowing equipment and uh, make a lot of money from a lot of money from bailing. Okay, but that's going to be a massive loan. We're going to have to just do it the hard way for the longest time, I think, until we really start to make some money. And uh, oh boy, if we wait a month too, we might be able to buy that baler at a very big discount since we are not the baler, but the auto stacker. All right, let's buy some land. So that land was what? 250. 
Let me bring our loan up to 450. Yay, debt. Okay, there we go. Okay, being on a computer is so different than a phone. Raptor, you're so much cooler at this size. Oh, thank you. Bigger, I guess in this case, is better. So we buy that for 285, or this is 125, so let's buy this one. All right, we're going to start making money from bailing. That's going to be cool. Or that land for 268. Whoa. Now we're going to buy that land. Nice. Okay, now we have money for 192. Let's check the store. What do we got on sale? Oh. One of the mixing machines is only 94,000. Nice. That's expensive, bro. That's 53% off. That's crazy how expensive that is. Oh, we will need a telehandler. Uh, it would be a good idea to have a telehandler for um, just bail management, I suppose. Uh, is it, does it actually show stuff for silage? Oh, we also need to make uh, hay for the cows, too. And we do have a windrower, a small one to start with. So we could start with a small amount of um, hay baling, too. We got to do that, too. So we got to mostly do silage, but some of it's got to be some of, some of it's got to be hay. And then I wonder if we could get a bigger mower. This requires 70 horsepower. That requires 160. Our current tractor is... Current tractor is only 136. So we need to buy a new tractor too. If we're going to do the bigger mower. I want to try to keep things European. I want to try to keep things European style. We'll try to buy tractors that... Appear to work here. 145, we need 160. The New Holland would work. Wow, these are all the small ones, huh? And this is the Lindner Lindtrack. The Linder Lind Track. Wait, is that a medium tractor? Oh, that's this one. Yeah, 130. Oh, wait, can we upgrade this one? Oh, no. No, we can't put in a bigger engine. Cormac, JCB, Dutzvar. Whoa, the, ooh, these are spendy. Hmm. What about a mower? Ooh. That's... That's big oof right there. Well, big M. <laughs> 380, we could lease it, but... Uh, I think a tractor is just going to be a better option. Like, that's mega overkill. We could do that later, but... And I don't want to lease a tractor. I want, I want to buy one. But I guess we could lease to own. The smaller Massey Ferguson would be alright. The Fent would be good too. Ooh, 246. But that's upgrade. 162 might be good. Two twenty, two forty-six. Yeah, there's so much money, aren't they? Eh, we don't want to creep. Don't want to creep into the two hundred territory. The Massey's one forty-five and does between one seventy-five and two twenty.
And the old school Massey that we've used before is uh, 97,000. That'll do it. This could be our dedicated mower and bale trailer. Oh, we could make this one our, our mower and our bale trailer. And this one actually has can, can have forks on it too. And we'll need to buy a bale trailer. Massey's American though? Oh, yeah. Well... I want to try to do smaller tractors, you know, that also fit this landscape. Hydrogen tractor? Oh, there is a there is a um, a methane tractor. Uh, this one. There's also electric. This one, 68 horsepower. Let's see if any of these small ones get close to 160 fully upgraded. I doubt it. 145 is pretty close. 142, 150, 136. Ah, uh, of course the New Holland would get... Oh, I love that little thing. One seventy-five for that. One thirty-five, one thirty-six. Well, we could get the the class for one twenty. Or the New Holland, but I'm assuming the 102, we'd have to upgrade the engines, so that would be another 25,000 on top of that. So we do 127 with a 175. Oh, this starts at 120, and it probably starts at 145. Yep. So to bring this up to 205, it would <laughs> cost 150,000. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, New Holland because I, I don't think I've used this brand too much at all. And I want an excuse to have a New Holland. Sire is Austrian. Yeah, it's also uh, only 135 horsepower. I think there might be two of these tractors. There might be two Steyr. Let's look at the smallest medium tractor. Fent, John Deere, McCormick, JCB, Dutz Far. Definitely would love one of those, but those are some big boys. All right, let's go with the New Holland. I, I haven't used enough of their stuff. I think it'll fit well on our farm. I also want to try an Iseki sometime, but can't upgrade the horsepower enough. So, all right, let's go with that. We're buying a new tractor. Let's buy the best engine we can. So that gives us 175 horsepower. Front loader attachment, we'll add that later if we want to. Let's go with the... Uh... Oh, that's cool. The fender actually can change based on what tires you get. Oh, it's because some of these are wide tire only, I see. I see. Oh, and wheel weights, too. <laughs> nice. Let's do... Let's try to find the narrowest standard tires we can. Oh, these look fine. That's good. New Holland is American, founded in 1895 in Pennsylvania. Oh, really? And other people were saying it's Italian. Oh boy. Chat's going to be arguing. Okay, we're going to go with this. We could lease it and then see if it's on sale next month. It could possibly happen, it might not. Let's try to uh let's try to make the most of our money. So let's lease and then see if next month it's on sale. But this will be the tractor we want. And then if we can buy it, then we'll uh, add attachments later. Although I don't know. I think if you lease this, the base model goes on sale. And you still have to pay for the upgrades. But regardless, that'll be good. So let's get this. And then let's buy um, the mower attachments. Or maybe lease them. 
We already have the front one, so we just need... We already have that one, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think we have the Pottinger. Let's see. No. We have the Rigid Track. So... Wait, is that even something we can buy? Oh, maybe that's under animals? What is this thing? Oh, it's this... This set, okay. Doesn't even look like it. Alright, so it's that little one. So let's lease... Alright, so this is 3.1 meters wide. This is 2.4, so this will be bigger. So let's lease this. And we'll lease this. Oh, we also have jobs we can do, too. We also have the, um... We also have, um, contracts to do. Or that we could do. Oh, it says harvesting. I think harvesting is still glitched. Fertilizing we could do, though. Okay. Do some more mowing, then we'll, um, we have a tether, but I think it's too small, although it might not matter. Oh, this is nice. Boy, this tractor looked pretty big until we put all this equipment on it. Now it looks tiny. <laughs> Oh, there was an update last night. You have force feedback on your fan. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. Well, the Balaam business begins. Big O Balaam business. Look at how nice these buildings are. All right. Let's drive nicely through town. We're in no rush. All right, so now we bought a new field. We bought new mowers. We're going to start uh, making uh, hay bales for the cows and then silage, too, for the money. And then we probably should be able to do that. Uh, you know, every, every time the grass regrows, we'll just make more bales. Yeah, the biogas plant will probably buy it for the most all the time. Right now it's like six hundred uh six hundred dollars per liter thousand liters. We also rented a, or leased a pretty good wind rower. So we'll probably use that one again. Yeah, I still use the G29, but we're using the Xbox controller here.
There we go. We'll go nice and slow around the edge a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. It's going to be some uh, rough landscape. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. Yeah, so then we're going to make a ton of silage bales out of this. And then sell those for like $600 a pop. Or, well, per uh, thousand liters. Yeah, the silage bales. I forget what the, I forget what the biggest silage bales you can make are. I think it starts at like one twenty-five. I forget how big the round bales are. You make square silage bales too, I think, but round is just a little easier. I say that, but you know. Oops. Oh yeah, we can change the work mode of the mower. How do we change that? Toggle work mode, control Y. Oh yeah, so we can, we can have it spread in the middle. Oh, nice. Oh, thanks, chat. So we can have it like pre wind mode. Uh, wind road. Wind mode. I guess wind mode is the. Uh, <laughs> it's mode and wind road. Wind mode. Nice. Thanks, chat. Alright, well, that uh, alleviates the need for a wind rower then. Or as much. Yeah, that is big brain. I think there might be uh, the cultivators that we bought yesterday on the other farm, too, that we thought weren't working. I think, actually, they might have had that work mode thing, too. It's just sometimes, well, I don't know, 20,000 people a day watch these streams while we're live. And so it's like, if, if, if 20,000 people didn't notice it and we didn't either, then it's like, oops. Oops. Well, we did it the hard way one time. Now we get to do it the easy way. This is much easier in comparison to what we were doing.
We're 200 likes? Oh, cool. Thanks, chat. Hopefully this equals a lot of a lot of silage for us. Oh, she's struggling. Looking good. Bail estimate for this field. Oh boy. All of chat. All of chat will bail before I'm done with this field. <laughs> no, we haven't made TMR in the game yet. Maybe in this series. Hopefully a couple of uh, harvests of silage will pay for the tractor. One pass complete. Uh, we would dry out the grass if we're looking to make hay, but if we're going to make silage, we can just keep it grass. Contracts for uh, harvesting are bugged. 
the fields when they spawn don't have enough um, yield in order to complete the contract. So in other words, the game's looking for fields to spawn that have been fertilized, but in the game they haven't been fertilized. So it's it's not on you. It's like the game spawning the wrong type of field. Oh, this is going to make a lot of bales for sure. Luckily, this land's nice and flat, so we got plenty of... Uh, Plenty of room to store the bales up here. Yeah, this tractor is a little underpowered, though it what do we give it? 225? 225 horsepower? So we got the upgrades, right? I think it's only one... 160 is required to run the equipment. Well, that's nice. The auto windrowing in this field is good. It might, this might actually eliminate the need for us to actually have or take time to windrow. We can just then start bailing and then circle back with the... Um, Circle back with the uh, silage wrapper. Oh boy. Yeah, hopefully next month we have enough money from all the silage and all and our remaining alone that we um, get enough money to buy uh, the, the equipment that we're using now. Right now we just leased it, so but we would like to own it. Look at how beautiful this is, though. Yeah, this is a good game. If you like good games, you'll like this one. Yeah, the animals are cows, pigs, horses, chickens, and sheep, and then you can get a dog, too. But the dog's just kind of for, like, cute points, I guess. 
Uh, most realistic, do they put in protein count, uh, sugar for feed, also MPK moisture for crops? Uh, there's something coming soon called precision farming that will be added to the game for things like pH and a, a lot of other features. I, I think you can read about it on their Steam store page to see what other things that they add. There's also minerals and such you have to add to uh, your total mix ration. But in, in terms of other games that are available for farming, this, this is the most realistic of all the games available that I've ever seen. And hopefully they continue to add more to it. Thanks, chat, for 300 likes. Appreciate the support. Hi, Snowbud. But I'm sure there's also mods and things for this game. If, if there's something missing that you'd like to see, I'm sure there's already a mod to add a lot of extra stuff. Hi, Circus Freak. Yep, you can do logging in the game. Cut down trees. You, you can cut down a tree even if it's like on your land and you want to get it out of the way. If you're trying to move a tree so you can put down a building, you cut it down and grab a stump grinder. You could probably just lease like a stump grinder and then cut the tree up and then put it on a flatbed trailer and bring it over to the to the biomass plant and get rid of it. Yeah, you can make furniture in the game now. It takes a very long time. It doesn't seem to be as profitable as I thought it would be. It seems like the most profitable things are like making clothing and like eggs and um, dairy products and stuff. Especially if you own the production chain. It takes a while to get there, but it's worth it. Uh, yeah, there's tree planting in the game. You can either place the trees and make your own artificial forest, which is expensive, or you can get equipment to do it. Yeah, traffic in this game is a little lighter. It's good because it's like you can, you can have it on without it being too intrusive into your farming. How do you own production chains? Oh, you just buy the building. So, for example, you can buy the uh, the flour mill or you can buy the bakery. Staying awake just to watch someone play a video game, just cutting grass is awesome. I agree, and I think you should continue to do it. It's crazy how much silage makes rel relative to hay. True. You will need to make hay, though, for the, your, your cows and stuff, but uh, in terms of, like, just selling for profit, yeah, hay you may as well just keep on your farm for animals. Straw, straw bales are pretty good, though. Uh, do you make silage with bunkers? Uh, you can through chaff. You can make silage through grass, but you can do it with corn chaff and then uh, put it into bunkers, yeah. Hay is just dried grass? Yes. Hay bale. Uh, once we're done here, we'll probably do a, we'll do a little bit of tedding, so that way we can dry it into hay and then we'll bale it up. But most of this is going to be silage. The, co the cows do need some hay. John, thanks for the three ninety nine, dude. Thank you very much for your support. Yeah, the grass will grow. Uh, I think 
maybe next spring it'll grow back. I'm not, I'm not sure what the growing pattern is. But it, it'll grow back. Or maybe later this year it'll grow back. How many blades does the mower deck have? Uh, I could imagine the back one's probably having like three big ones in each left and right section, and then maybe three medium-sized ones in the front, maybe. No, this isn't a mobile game. It's uh, available on console or on PC. And we're playing on PC. Oh, we can get three harvests of grass per year? Okay, well, if that's the case, uh, that means we're going to be doing a lot of mowing. Can you build your house? Yeah, if you want to start from scratch and build a house somewhere, you can buy some land and... Um, uh, put a house on it and decorate it, add, like, roads and stuff to it. I want there to be more decoration options. It would be nice if you could do a little bit more uh, decoration, but... There goes the train. Is this game what I was hinting at from the Tavern Master in Life? Yeah, probably. Have I ever played Farmville? I don't think so. Uh, the house is pre-made. Vicky, welcome back as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for smash and join. Enjoy all the new emotes and such. Let's get some uh, trucker hats in the chat, brother. Uh, we'll be doing a member stream this weekend. I think we'll do it on Saturday. We're going to do a giant wheat harvest, and we'll do some bailing up with all you guys. And then on uh, maybe later today, I'll play multiplayer with the guys or something like that. Rick and Harry and Alex and everybody else are just, uh, they're tired out, and they need a little break. But I'm going to keep on trucking, brother. But Harry's probably back at work. Uh, Rick is too. Jerry is as well. I guess the only one who could really join me is uh, Le Petit uh, Garçon, but um, I think Alex is busy. If anybody wanted to join me on this farm, it'd probably be like Alex or Shrike if they were around, but member stuff, we're going we're gonna to save for the weekend so everybody gets a chance on a big, big project. Solitary Jones, welcome aboard. It's a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. What are my thoughts on them making a farming sim 24? Well, Giants is a company, and companies like money. And if Giants wants to keep making money, they'll keep making farming simulators. They'll just have to add new stuff to it each time. This is like... I really didn't like this map. Th this map is from Farming Simulator 19. It's part of one of the DLCs called, like, Alpine... I forget what it was called, like, Alpine Farming or Mod or something like that. But uh, I didn't really like this map. I was like, oh, that's boring. I don't want to do that. Now it's, my, it's like one of my favorite maps in Farm Sim 22. I think I like the American map a bit more because I'm from the Midwest, so it reminds me of home, and it's freaking beautiful. But uh, this map is, uh, I mean, do I, do I have to say anything about this map? I mean, look. It's like, wow. Sean, thank you very much for the five. Sean Denell, thank you very much. Yeah, I think the first farming sim I played was like farming sim 13. Got Raptor in the background while working. Got some hot coffee. Gonna be a good Monday. Amen, brother. Let's get some trucker hats in there. How am I today? I'm good. Companies like money? Yeah. Well, remember, anytime you hear a... You know, anytime you hear uh, them talk about our mission statement or our values, our core values, or uh, what's the other thing I hear sometimes? Um, 
deeply concerned or any any of those in any of those words it's just marketing everything is always just marketing they're there, they're there just to make money just like farms are there just to make food or just to make um, something something to be consumed like you know a sheep farm is there just to make wool which is then to make money I mean it's got to be profitable but yeah Yeah, our mission statement, yeah. Yeah, I want to have some actual shepherd's pie. There is um, there's an Irish restaurant near me that does shepherd's pie, but I, I don't know if it's just beef. But I really want to have, like, a traditional shepherd's pie. And uh, there's a few British pubs and a few Irish pubs near where I live, but I don't think they do it the traditional way. Uh, yeah, if you if you tap the join button, it'll tell you all the differences between the different types of tiers and the benefits between them. So, plenty of time to become a member and enjoy those emotes. Why do you distinguish between farmers and game studios? Uh, Well, I mean, game studios create, like, a digital product. Farms create something you can actually, like, consume. Like, you can't download milk or ice cream from your house. <laughs> you can download a game from Steam, but, you you know, like, farming is a physical good. They can't, they can't make, uh, like, a digital good. Like, you know, Netflix, that's a digital good. Games, that's a digital good. Or it could be, you know. It could be physical, too, if you buy a CD. Music. But, you know, far farms are kind of like a factory, but they work a little different, you know. Like a car factory is just within a building, but a farm is mostly outside. <gasps> You're going to ship me a traditional shepherd's pie from Ireland? Oh, please do. I want to... Uh I want to have some shepherd's pie before the end of the year. We have a thing in Minnesota that we usually have called uh, tater tot hot dish. And so it's it's kind of like a World War II recipe of shepherd's pie, where they they tried to make shepherd's pie with the the uh, ingredients that were available during the war. So they you know they changed the recipe based on what they could get at the time. What's different with traditional? Well, traditional shepherd's pie is made with uh, sheep or mutton, uh, but usually. Uh, they try to make it out of beef because beef is much more, much, much, much more plentiful in the United States. Beef is, you can just go get, you can get ground hamburger from pretty much anywhere. Like you go to get your haircut and you, you're done with the haircut, you know, and they're showing you your hair and stuff. It's like, what do you think of your haircut? Oh, it looks great. All right. And can I interest you in a pound of ground beef? <laughs> yeah, lamb. Yeah. No, it's made from veal, which is deer. Let's see who's new here. Neo, thanks for the five, dude. Appreciate your support. Welcome back. You know what I haven't had in a while, though, is... Um, fish tacos. It's been a while since I've had a good fish taco. There was a really nice Korean place Thank that. Thank God um, you are streaming, ready to blow a gasket at work. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Keep up the amazing work, Raptor. Hashtag Amin brother. Yes, Amin, Amin brother. <laughs> yeah, fish tacos are good. I had a. Um, there was um, a couple of years ago. There was like this uh, food truck fair that I went to, and there was a Korean restaurant that was also experimenting with making they were trying to get people to come into their restaurant a korean restaurant by selling street food that was tacos so they were trying to sell taco versions of their korean items which was genius so they were making like korean uh like south korean short ribs or something some something really good but they were putting it in a taco form so you could have a smaller sample of it genius it was genius I don't know if the restaurant's still around based on what happened in 2020, but I hope they're doing well. Because that was very good food, and they were very kind. F 
Fish taco? Yeah. Fish tacos are good. I don't feel like I eat enough fish. I do, I do like uh, eating fish, but I don't... Uh, aside from, like, salmon and maybe tilapia, I wish I could eat more walleye and such. This mowing is taking forever? Yeah, just like real farming. I heard that sometimes farming can take an entire year. And then when the, when the year starts over, they do it all over again. They just start over. Like, what? Are farmers that bad where they just have to start over all the time? Like, what the heck? Just do all your farming and get it done. It's easy. Oh, yes. With beef, it's called cottage pie. Yeah, yeah. But I think because uh, not a lot of... P more people know shepherd's pie. If you said cottage pie, they would ask what's different. And then the way to explain it would be like, oh, well, it's just shepherd's pie, but it's just with beef. So they just they just call it the same. And then probably in the description of it in the menu, it says, you know, um, they ex explain that it's, you know, beef with potatoes and carrots, whatever else. Well, we're getting done here. We're almost done. Getting closer. Uh, welcome to all the new subs. If you guys are uh, new in the chat, don't be afraid to just say hi. We have a lovely community here. Everybody's pretty chill. Very chill, very interactive. So thanks for watching. Yeah, if you guys are interested in this game too, by the way, and want to learn more about farming but want to be entertained at the same time, go watch Clarkson's Farm. It's a series that was on uh, Amazon, I forget what they call it, Amazon Video or whatever. But yeah, go go watch Clarkson's Farm. Great, uh, great series with a lot of comedy, you'll learn a lot, and um, it's quite heartwarming too. There's a few great characters in there, good people in there, and also... Um, Um, you can tell he really cares about the farm and such. It's a really nice place. And there'll be a new season coming out probably in the next couple of years, but, uh... Yep, this is the Alpine map. Erlen... Er, Erlen... Erlengrad? Whatever it is. I loved when Caleb moaned all the time about going to London. Yeah, it was crazy how many, like, it was like 45 apps you had to download in order to just park on the street in London. It's like, dear God. I think I'd rather live on a farm than have own a car in the city. Yeah, it seems like owning and operating a farm in the countryside would be less complicated than owning a car and parking in London. Yes, this is a field that we own. Um, I didn't see any contracts for mowing, but there are some, like, sowing and fertilization ones that I want to do. But I think just owning this field and making silage will be way more profitable than that. to the final area now so this will be the last spot we have to do and then we can uh, we'll have to uh, do a little tedding and then mostly silage
Uh, what's the next step to make the silage after you've mowed around? Well, we have to bale it. We have to pack it into little round bales, and then we're going to uh, then have to wrap those round bales in foil, which will then make the silage, which then we have to stack onto a trailer, and then we have to deliver that trailer. Okay. And then once we once we load all the silage onto a trailer, then the uh, silage can just be dropped off at the um, at the. Uh, I think the biogas plant will probably buy it for the most money. I don't get how a parking space can be incompatible with a vehicle. Yeah, probably zoning laws and things like that. You know, if it's a residential area, they probably don't want like a big truck to park there. No, I don't know. Cities are nice, but car cars ruin cities. They really, you know, when a bunch of traditional buildings and landmarks get bulldozed to build yet another parking garage after parking garage after parking garage, after, it's like, what's go what's going to be the point to go into a city eventually just to park your car? And then walk out of the city to get out of there? Sounds dumb. I'd rather take a train into a city. Man, if I could take a train more places, I just I just want to take a train. Trains are cool. Cars are nice, but trains are better. But that's me. That's myself. I like trains. It forces people into a schedule and it's kind of it's kind of nice. Because without, without trains, everybody would be, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> or planes, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting. Ex I want some more city builders now that have a little bit more to do with mass transit and layering and verticality rather than just like, you know, people always want like a huge, massive, like really spread out city. And I think to myself, like, bro, you could build like a, a somewhat small city along a river, but make it like you could make the population into the millions if you have mass transit and layering too. Not even mass transit, just like. Street level, uh, like walking around in Japan is like incredible amount. The amount of places you can see in such a short time and distance. You can go to a temple, then you can go to a mega uh, superstore, and then you can get on a bus and go see another temple, then go see a shrine, then go hit a ramen place up, and then go back to your hotel, which is near the airport, and only walk like six steps. Not really, but you get what I'm saying. I like that. That's that's my jam. Oh man, we're getting there. Yeah, where does food come from? Gen Z say grocery store. Boomers say farms. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to have my own uh, garden and things like that, but I can't even keep houseplants alive. I think they just try to purposely die. I don't know, man. I put them near, near the window and I give them water and they just seem to die to death. Is this game expensive when the DL... Wait, is this the game when the DLCs... Are expensive. Um, what? This game doesn't have any DLCs. It does have a season pass, but I 
Uh, yeah, you can get this on the Epic Game Store. Just use code Raptoria at checkout if you'd like. Well, the previous Farming Simulator games do have DLC, but this, um... This game doesn't have any at the moment, but it, it will. Oh, that's true, yeah, they have pre-order vehicles and such, yeah. I mean, yes, but also, like, no, I guess. You want me to grow potatoes because of the chip shortage? Is there a shortage on chip? Oh, there's a shortage on everything. I don't know. For me, it's just like I'm... I don't want more. I just... I just want to be left alone. Leave me alone. Yeah, that's true. There's a shortage on likes. I hear they're going to take that button away next, too, if you guys don't use it. That's just what I was told. Also, the sub button and the join button, too. Who knows? Could be, could be a shortage. You don't want Susan to take that away now, do you? Almost done. A few more passes to do. Look at how dirty the equipment's getting. Yeah, this game's pretty chill. Wait, this can't be our last pass, is it? Does dirt level affect performance? Nah, it's kind of more of a visual thing. It might maybe hurt the paint a bit, but... I think the painting might affect resale value, maybe? The game has three DLCs available. Those, those might be uh, the pre-order vehicles, I think, that you can... If they're vehicle based, I think they're also part of the pre-order.
All right, a little bit more to do. Does this tractor need diesel? Yeah, I think it I think it takes diesel fuel. Or hopes and dreams. It might run on hopes and dreams. Uh, if you get an electric char uh, tractor, you will need to put down a charging point, yeah, to charge it. Uh, in this map, we started with the electric tractor, and we have the charging point for free. But we still have to pay for the uh, fuel, aka the charge. Okay. Can you make uh, crops crop circles? Well, I guess. We're going to be counting bales again, you bet you. on the other side, I think. Oh, 
All right, so now we got to start bailing, and then we're gonna have to rent a bail wrapper. Oh, um, we we'll have to do a little bit of tedding too. So I'll save a spot for that. We need to make a little bit of hay for the cows, so that way they're more efficient with their milk production. Okay, and we need the, uh, we'll grab this for our tether. to do uh, wind rowing again to put this all back together. Yeah, you can get rid of the bigger bushes with the, um, there's something to, like, chop them down.
It's all going to be for hay bales here. Hey Raptor? Yes, yes, we are making hay. Yes. Uh, no bales have escaped yet. We'll be making some soon. I'm sure we'll get some escapees here shortly. Alright, we'll see how many hay bales that makes. We'll have to do some windrowing on that again. Alright, on to, yep, bailing. And then we need to make silage. Oh boy. Alright chat, start counting. Really, game? Sir? I wish they would just stop after a little... Oh god. Sorry, sir. Hey, Bell Crossing. It's their natural uh, migration pattern. I think the the devs need to make this kind of more like a like the model should look round but it should really it should roll like a hexagon like it should be really hard to roll because though it's round it's still kind of it's kind of squishy so it's like it wouldn't it wouldn't roll perfectly like that Well chat that's one Yeah that bell had to go to work He's catching the bus. Yay.
Oh boy. How's it going? Going good. Going good. Let's see. We're going to be making silage, so that's going to sell for quite a bit of money today. I see. There we go. What game is this? Uh, Fortnite 3. A green pizza roll. And yeah, maybe it's like a veggie egg roll or something. We might have to make some more hay. Uh, Gaming Onsen, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome. I think we'll keep that outside row for possible hay bales.
All right. Back we go. Can you have an AI to pick the bales up? Uh, no, the AI in the game's not smart enough to do any of the things that we've done so far, I think. It's going to be a long day. A long day, folks. Has anybody had problems uh, playing Farm Sim 22 through Epic? Um, I haven't. Did you try using code Raptoria at checkout? Exclamation point Raptoria! Okay, nice. Nice flat area down here for us to put all this stuff. That'll be a good spot to store it. Lane 4 Gaming, thank you very much for the five. Appreciate that. Welcome aboard to all the new members. Thanks for all the super chats today. Off to a good start this week uh, with some quality gaming content. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you all been enjoying the stream. this game on Wednesday. Hope to join one of your members' help on a Saturday stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do a big old uh, wheat harvest, so I hope uh, everybody's there for that one. We can do up to 16 players, and there'll be plenty to do. We'll need people to uh, drive the combines and uh, 
the semi trucks to go sell the grain. Actually, maybe what we'll do too is since we can also sell grain into a production chain, we could also have um, we could have it like turned into flour, and then we could have semis bring the flour from the uh, from the flour mill to the uh, bakery or somewhere else. That'd be cool. Uh, we'll schedule that probably. F we'll schedule it Friday afternoon or evening for Saturday morning-ish. I think I want to start doing that on the weekend now. So, like, the, you know, Harry and uh, Rick and everybody else in Europe can join me, too. Because they're also members. They, they've been friends of mine for a long time. But they're also members. And they usually help do the setups to make sure they work. That'll probably be my usual time for streaming. New member, welcome. Sai, thanks for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Upgrading to a big O hatchling status. Thank you. Hi Raptor, I want to become a member, but my card credit card doesn't work because I'm not 18 yet. What do I do? <laughs> uh, officially random, thanks for the 10. Uh the pounds. Well, it it just worked when you dropped a super chat, so uh, I guess um, I don't I don't know what YouTube's full restrictions and such are for that. Um, I'm not sure. Thanks for wanting to become a member, though. Thank you very much for the ten pounds. Uh, I guess continue to try to join by clicking and tap and join, but. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what the restrictions on that are. I'm just a farmer, brother. Trucker logger, amen. New member, welcome. Ah, Rhett McCarthy, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Thank you very much. Welcome aboard. Probably a much smarter idea to drop these off down here. Yeah. This would be a nice spot for a vineyard. Could you imagine if we, if we bought this field and started doing uh, grapevines and stuff up here? It would look beautiful. Really would look gorgeous. Oh, and YouTube in Japan, you have to be 20? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess there's different laws for each country and state and whatnot for all that stuff, but... I mean, essentially, it's like an online purchase, so I guess whatever... It, I, I don't know. YouTube's weird. They create features and then they like shoot themselves in the foot. YouTube's kind of weird. YouTube subject to laws? Well, their own. Without that, we wouldn't have trust and safety, and thank God we do. World's a much safer place now. Don't you guys feel safe and trusted here? 
Well, we got a long way to go, but we've made a hell of a lot of progress already. We're, we're basically trillionaires now. You hate not being able to see dislikes on YouTube now? Yeah, I know. I, I completely agree. You know, I've noticed that my, my dislikes have gone up because of that, but also likes have gone way, way, way up too. So it's like all my videos now are getting between like 98 and 99% likes. So it's like it made people use the buttons more, but it's dumb if you guys can't see it. Like, I don't know. I think, I think more likes equal... Oh, I, I, I used to think that. I, I I thought that, like, oh, if a lot of people liked a video, more people would like. But you can see the dislikes. Well, that, that'll, that'll be going away. They're getting rid of... They're kind of doing it in phases. What I, what I assume how YouTube works is that everybody's kind of in this, like, you're in different types of groups. Like, group, like on a plane, A, B, C, D, E. And YouTube just flips switches for certain groups and such. So, if you can see them, they're going away. You're not going to see them much longer. So they're slowly turning off the groups across the uh, across the board. If you guys can see dislikes, you might not buy a product or something, which might... Essentially, it's like how in the United States, the U.S. Postal Service, though you guys hate junk mail, the United States Postal Service, if somebody pays them to deliver junk mail, they have to deliver it because that's what they're paid to do. A company pays the U.S. Postal Service to deliver a bunch of uh, a bunch of junk mail or something like that. They they have to deliver the junk mail because that's what they were paid to do. And so, um, in YouTube, they're they're paid to advertise products, and um, the dislikes might turn people away from buying that product. And so, since they're paid to basically just constantly advertise, advertise, purchase, purchase, consume, that's kind of how it works. They don't want you guys to think. They don't want you to like or dislike something. They just want you just buy it. Just buy it. Don't think. Just buy. No think. Buy. Spend money. Buy. Don't think. Buy. Purchase. Buy. Consume. Purchase. Purchase. Do it again. Don't think. It's not a decision. It's not a choice. Just purchase. Consume. This is kind of how it works. That's just business. All right, so we're pretty close to actually like having all these bales done. Like, it, it, we got a long way to go, but like I feel like we're like we got a good method going on here, so things are going really well. Oh. Damn it! Still not working, I'll wait till I'm 18 till then I'll give you more money. Dollar Bill's face. Well, thank you, Dollar Bill face. Appreciate that. I thank you officially random for the five. Uh, what are we doing right now? So we're, we're making, we cut all this grass so that way we can make grass bales. And then we're going to uh, wrap these bales to make silage. And silage is going to make us a lot of money down at the uh, biogas plant. So essentially we're just, we have cows. We have like 30 cows for our dairy farm right now. And we have about 65 sheep. So we're going to start selling, um, you know, animal products and such to the local town. And although this seems tedious and slow, we're going to be making hay and a lot of other things to feed our dairy cows. So it's going to make some good quality milk. So that way we can make cheese and we can make um, chocolate. We can sell the, uh, the milk to the uh, chocolate uh, chocolatier. Dan, thank you very much for the three months as a raptor egg.
You'd like to become a member, but you have to ask your parents first. That's... Uh, that's fine. I guess that's... Yeah, that's between you and your parents and your budget, I suppose. Don't don't become a member because you think, like, um, I need it. I don't. I want, I want you guys to want to become a member because you want to, not because you think uh, by not becoming a member you're hurting me or something like that. That's... Mm -mm. You not being a member is fine. You just watching is all I uh, all I really want, which is awesome. So thanks for your time. Just tapping that like button, saying hi in the chat, and uh, just watching is really all you, all you got to do, or all I would all I would like you to do. You don't have to do that any of that either, but you know. It just helps the channel grow, which helps more people find the channel, which means that we get more people like Alex and more Jerry and more Bradford and more Pinto, etc., etc. The more people who find the channel, the more cool people get to join us. Thanks for all the great content. Well, thanks for watching. Now we better offload this way. What state am I from? Uh, yes. Love from India. Well, thanks for watching, Jay. A lot of people from India watch, too. You guys are cool. Thanks for watching all the time. You can see the amount of dislikes we have. We have 10. Oh, that's fine. Like, I, I don't know. I... It's never really helped me to make better videos or anything like that. I, I guess it helps you guys to know that people like the channel. Some don't, but it's like... I don't know. Like, when I'm literally just playing a game, I... <laughs> I don't know. Likes or dislikes aren't going to help me to make a better channel. Comments help, I guess. Now we're going to wrap these bales for silage for money. And it's going to make us a lot of money. Thank you, uh, Kai Clark, for watching.
Yeah, there's going to be a lot of money to make in the fabric clothing line. Yeah, you're right. We're going to start by making wool, and then we're going to try to buy the spinnery so that we can start making fabric. In fact, we might even buy that at the start here, uh, after a couple of days with sheep. We only bought sheep today. Today is still, like, technically day one in the game, so we've done a hell of a lot of work for one day. Yay, we had a bell bee. It's a boy. Yay. Making them bell bees. We haven't played with any mods yet. We're still doing vanilla. I mean, there's still a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot to do in the vanilla game. Lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. Mods come after we, after we get a little bored. Oh yeah, co cotton harvesting. That'll be profitable. Yep, cotton, wool, all good for fabric. Do the shapes of the bell matter? Well, the round ones will roll, but uh, the round ones can actually be stacked into a really long silage roll that you can store in a field. So you can make some really long uh, silage bales out in the field. Uh, exclamation point Discord. Is this the Landini? This is a New Holland tractor. Uh, the T6, I believe. Yep. Pretty nice looking tractor, actually. I like it. Is there a ba baler vehicle? Um, I think all balers are just a tow behind. I don't think there's a specific vehicle that's like a baler tractor combo. All right, let's change some music here. Let's try. Try some of this. You join the Discord, we'll welcome aboard. Bum, 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 bum.
Bum, bum. Good. Well, those of you guys, welcome welcome to the Discord, those of you joining. We'll have uh, some giveaways and such in the Discord today. I owe chat a couple giveaways, so I'm going to find something something chat will like. we go how's the harvesting work um well right now we're bailing so essentially we're just taking all this grass and uh forming it packing it into a, like a round bale harvesting is a whole different business though but kind of works the same especially if you've done uh like for example wheat you can you can bale uh, after a wheat harvest We're getting there. The more and more we go inside, the shorter and shorter these routes will be. Oh, dude, we made so many bales. Has anybody been keeping track of how many bales we made? We've got to be over 30 by now. Mm, make this one over here. Yeah, them some nice bales right there, brother. Amen. You watch so much farming some content this week. Good. It's a great game. What I'm trying to do is when I'm offloading these bales, I'm trying to put them in a flat area so that they don't roll. If I just drop them where we are... Sometimes we'll be at an angle and they'll just roll into another field, so We have two options. We can either put them somewhere flat so we can find them later or we can chase them down and try to go scavenger hunting Which is gonna be uh, a long time
Well, these are these are grass fields, so they're a little different than just like a farm field. But there are farm fields that are, you know, on on the sides of hills and stuff like this. There we go. Looking good. Yeah, the baling is important. That's how we're going to feed our uh, cows and such. Eventually we'll make some hay out of these more of these rows too. Wow, look at how pretty this place is, man. Wow. Yeah, the plants are wheat, barley, corn, sunflowers, sugar beets, potatoes. Lots of plants. Canola, olives. Grapevines now. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to make in this game. Yeah, cows, chickens, pigs, sheep. You know, there's not orchards in the vanilla game, but there might be mods for them. I mean, technically, you know, you can kind of do an orchard with, like, the olives. More of an olive grove, but... Yeah, it's pretty similar. Hmm. Yeah, sunflowers to make sunflower seeds. You can then just sell the sunflower seeds or you can make an oil out of them. So you can make canola, sunflower, and olive oil. And there's whole production chains and stuff in the game now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he'll just roll into the ditch. Yep, there we go. That's what I thought, sir. You're not going too far. After we cut the grass, and uh, we will be baling these, uh, well, be be wrapping these to make silage, and then the grass will regrow, and we'll do it again. But it'll be a few months. But this is essential to feeding our cows. This is what's going to make milk. Um, not the silage part, but the well, 
Eventually we'll make total mix rations, but at the moment it's just going to be like hay. So the silage is just for money. <sighs> and I do like money. <sighs> ones in chat, if you like money. Wow, look at all those ones. Wow. We just want to sell milk. Um, well, well, we'll bring milk to the uh, chocolatier and or the cheese factory in order to make cheese and chocolate. And we're also going to be feeding our sheep too, so the sheep will make wool. And then there's a whole clothing production chain that we can do. And we can make fabric at the spinnery. And we can also do cotton too, although uh, the cotton is kind of, um, I don't know, I'd rather do cotton. Uh, cotton in a warmer climate but we can grow it here what is the plan to get money uh, either slip and fall at a grocery store and then sue them in an insurance scam or sell silage, wh whichever seems easier. So we'll be heading to the store in a few minutes. Why won't you have a sheep farm? We do. We bought sheep earlier today. Yeah, the bail count must be through the roof. Through the roof. Yeah, we have something called a sheep barn. And the sheep barn lets us um, hold more of them and it auto waters them. Gives them water automatically. Uh...
Oh, it's working really well. We're doing a good job. We're going to have a lot of bales stored up in these areas. It'll make um, wrapping these a little bit easier, too. Nope, no mods. We'll be doing uh, silage wrapping pretty soon, though. This is going to be exciting. This is going to make us a lot of money. I'm pretty confident that we're going to make a lot of cash from this. A lot of big O cash. You've been watching the channel for two years? Well, that's good. Thanks for watching. Thinking of trying the new Hearts of Iron 4 DLC? Eh, I've been too into Farming Simulator, I think, to play anything new. We've been loving Farming Sim. Uh, these bales should sell for, you know, actually, we should take a look. Hold on. Silage right now at the biogas plant is selling at 642 per thousand liters. And I think each of these bales will be about 3,500 liters or kilograms. Or, well, I'll, have to, I'll have to take a look at that. But the real question is, when do they sell for the highest? January. In August, this is the lowest. <laughs> this is the lowest that they're selling for. So if we hold on to all these silage bales until January, we're gonna make so much. It's gonna essentially like double, almost triple. So we're going from 600 to like possibly 1,200 dollars. That could be an insane amount of money. Insane, insanity. That could be insane, ins insane levels of insanity. That's what that could be.
insane levels of insanity. Well, we got a lot more work to do in terms of like wrapping the bales and stuff, but uh, that's all right. Shouldn't be afraid of some hard work. We just need to be consistent, that's all. <laughs> what about the insane levels of support for me? Maybe. Can you grow fruits in this game? Technically, yes. Grapes. And I'm and tomatoes, and I'm sure there's some other things that technically can be considered fruits. But you can't can't do like an apple tree or an orange tree or anything, but I'd love to do that. So one thing I really liked about Medieval Dynasty is that we could make like apple pies and stuff. Or cherry pies or whatever. Pretty cool. That's another farming simulator, though. Is that bale going uphill? Okay, that's what I thought. Wow, look at this place. That's beautiful. Let's start back over here again. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there'll be mods for everything. So, I mean, anything that's not here at the present will eventually be a mod. Everything that uh, you'd probably ever imagine has been, like, coming out since 2015. And then updated for 2019. Then updated for 20. Or for 2017, 15, 9, uh, 17, and 19, we'll probably be in 22, too. Yeah, this will take a little bit of time, but it's going to make us a lot of money. Well, that's a good song. Pog, Pog, lad. The hell? All right, I take back what I just said. What the hell was that? Sound like a, sound like a baby whining. Is this much better than 19? Oh yeah, it, it feels like a... I don't know, it got a lot of new people into farming sim, so it's exciting. Dude, just think about it. Each one of those bales... Hold on, let's take a look at this. Each one of these is 3,500 liters. And we, right now we're going to get paid 600 per thousand liter if we wrap them. And that's when the market is low. So just imagine how much money, like think about how much money we'll make now and then like double it. We must be in Ireland because our money's doubling. That must be where we are right now. This is the Dublin, the Dublin, Ireland map. I 
Oh, you think it'll go up to 4,000? Wow. I mean, if it goes up to like 1,200 and doubles, I'll be... I'll be super hardcore pogladding. We also need to make hay here too, so I think what we'll do is... We'll do a few more rows and then I'll turn some of this into hay because we need to make hay bales for the cows. And, uh... Like, I don't want to... I don't want to do too much more baling after this. So we're, you know, we'll do all the hard work now so that way we can avoid doing it in the future. Not because it's the right thing to do, but because we're lazy. Oh, forgot to lower the uh, harvester. Damn, this map's pretty. Sun's actually starting to go down. It's about, uh... About, um, well, I mean, <laughs> about to, meaning like a couple hours away. But it's, uh... About 5.30 in the... Or, uh, 3.30 in the game. Soon. Oops. You had a big old sub from Jersey Mike, so that's good. Taking a break from the American map. Yeah, we started we started this dairy farm last night. It was just so damn lovely that I wanted to uh, do that. So whenever my friends are around, I'll do the American map. But if it's just me or one other person, I'll just do this one. But this is something I can handle from uh, with myself. And it kind of goes to prove for the people who are asking, like, is this game fun solo? Yeah. I mean, everything that you see here on the map, we've done ourselves. So we're a big boy. Feels good though. Yeah, but that's what a game should do. It should make you feel good and you know relaxed and calm and and or satisfied or you know. And I, I certainly feel that way. You think this will keep the cows fed for years? Well, that's good because if we if we go to get more cows, more cows just means that they're going to eat more food in a shorter amount of time. So, you know, even if we had uh, if we had a million cows, we'd still have to do all this stuff here. You still got to make food for them. Now, ideally, we'd want to do total mixed ration, but grass and hay are just going to have to be the... Uh, those will have to be the two options for now. Mm-hmm. Well, some of this grass I'll take for the cows and the sheep for the future. Some of this grass... Most of this grass I'll turn into silage, and then some of these rows we need to turn into uh, hay. Because uh, we're going to need to give the cows a mixed diet, otherwise they won't produce milk as often.
Uh, I don't know when Giants releases uh, any patches. Somebody said that they released a patch this morning, but I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen my game update, so I don't know. I don't know when that happens. Yeah, this hill's steep. That's why I'm coming down here to drop them off. And that way we can kind of have them all in one spot. What we can do is we could probably get the bale trailer to load these up and then we can go wrap them somewhere else. And we can feed them to the wrapping machine one at a time. We're probably, we're supposed to really wrap out in the field, but um, we might have to do things a little differently based on our situation. Oh, look, a train. On the ooh, two trains passing each other on the bridge. That's cool. Wow, what a nice little detail. You know, the the France map is nice because that map has like little um, it has like hot air balloons and stuff on it, and you'll see them like flying around. I wish the American map had like a plane or something you could see fly over from time to time. And this map's beautiful. You have like uh, I think you can see boats out on the lake. And then trains out on the bridge. It's pretty cool. Why is this game so mesmerizing? Well, it's like any sort of it's it's like City Skylines or Transport Fever with its uh, supply chains now, except it's kind of all done in first person. So, if you like uh, like American Truck Simulator, or if you like um, Transport Tycoon and stuff like that, or Transport Fever, you're gonna like this game. Getting closer to being done. More to do. Good music. Now we're making some really good progress here. I cannot wait to see how much money we're going to make from this stuff. Mm. 
Yeah, fish farms would be cool. it up rather than put it down my bad Man, we got these nice and organized, dude. It's going to be really easy to gather all these up this time. And we got a more powerful tractor, too, so if we get that auto stacker, uh, that should make things a lot easier. Does anyone know how many bales we have? Who's been paying attention? I certainly haven't. Have any of you guys been actually paying attention? We got to be in the 50s now for bales, right? Like Okay. Uh, no one's paying attention? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention either. I was just trying to keep things organized. You can get number of uh, bales in the statistics menu. Yeah, but that would then include uh, all the bales that we've made before. And I don't even remember how many that is, so... We'd know a total count, but not just for this field. Oh, well. Got to be somewhere in the 50s. Okay. Let's stop here for a second. Oops. And let's see if... Uh, what we got from what we can make hay out of. So I wanted to do the outer ring with hay. So we're going to make more hay bales. For the cows. We're going to have a lot more cows. So if we do all the hay now, we'll save ourselves a lot of time. So I think... I think I also want to make hay bales, because honestly, if we're not going to sell the grass until August, we have a chance for it to grow again and do this one more time, so. So we're going to have to do windrowing as well. We're going to need a bigger windrower. So let's stop this one here. And we'll go back to Tedding again. Oh, we made 44 bales yesterday? Oh, wow. Excuse me. Alright, we're going to make the outer roll all all hay and then we'll make the inner row all hay too. So we'll need a windrower after this.
Yeah, we're probably done with grass bales for a little bit. We're gonna do some uh, tedding. This is making hay, essentially. Then we have to windrow all this. And then we have to bale all this. Then we have to stack all this. It's going to be a long day. Look at the deer. Pretty. That's working good. I'll tell you what, though the the uh, wheels on this tractor are just fantastic. Get them tighter turns going. Oh boy! Our win oh yeah, windrow is over here. Yeah, that ain't gonna be great. Well, we can rent a windrow and a baler, a uh, wrapper now. So let's see what those are like. So, bale wrapper. Okay, that's for round bales. Square and round. Oh yeah. Okay. So we we probably use this one.
release that and then Yeah, we can look into getting a loader trailer after we're done wrapping. We also need to buy a wind rower for the hay bales too. But we'll start with the uh, we'll start with the wrapping and loading. Actually, I wonder if we should use that smaller tractor because that also has the bale forks. Time to go pick up a new piece of equipment. New stuff, Poglad. Finally at a live stream rather than watching it later. Well, welcome. Glad you're watching live. Okay, we're going to need a trailer, too. But I guess we'll just start with this. Cool to see you and all your friends play Wolfpack sometime. Check the channel videos on there. Uh-oh. Thank you. 
All right, so now we got the bail wrapper here. That's cool. See how this works. All right, so unfold. Listening to Staying Alive by the Bee Gees, and let me tell you this is the most epic drive I have ever seen in Farm Simulator. Lamau. Ah, uh, thanks for watching, man. Thank you very much, uh, Cade, for the five. Appreciate it. Ah. That thing tips it on their side so they can't roll anymore. Oh, that's, that's very helpful. That's how that works. Cool. We're wrapping Christmas presents for chat. Every one of these is a new membership. Nice. Well, that makes it easier. Yeah, we're farming marshmallows. I think we'll just end up making all of these into uh, silage bales because mowing to get grass is going to be pretty easy. So if we need to feed the cows and stuff, we should be able to do it pretty much like any time. Then I grab it. Hello. There's a hay bale there, sir. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. This is nice. Oh, is anybody counting the bales? We get a good bale count now.
We got five over there. And we got six here. I think. Unless I missed one. Or two. Or ten. Who knows? Man, this is satisfying. We've now got all of these ready to like wrap up and stuff. It's good. Hopefully we can... Uh, I don't know how much we'll have for hay. I'm sure we'll get at least like six bales out of hay maybe. pretty this place is, man. How could you not like this? That's amazing. It's nice, the little thing that uh, kind of tips them onto their side so that way you can pick them up later without them rolling around. Surprised the baler doesn't do that. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You think my resolution got reset? Uh, let's see. So I think you have to change resolution on the main screen. Uh, I don't know. Let's take a look. Oh, you're right. Wow. We've been playing in that way for a long time. That's weird. Maybe a little bigger. Ooh. Oh, let's turn some of these. Uh, ooh, let's turn these graphics up. Oh, object draw distance. Oh, we can look even further. <gasps> You're right. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think. Yeah, now we can turn the max mirror up. I think what happened is I messed with this before, and then when the game released, it must have updated somehow and reset things. So this is going to look even more beautiful. Oh, man. 
Well, let's turn these numbers up. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be Bob Ross beautiful. Oh, this is gonna. Oh yeah, realistic beacon lights are gonna be on now. Oh, chat. You guys are gonna freak out. Oh man. I had all my settings on high before, but now, holy crap. It reset things, you're right. Wow. Oh baby, oh baby, game needs to restart. Yeah, go back and do redo all the streams. Well, I thought it was pretty good quality before, and I was like, oh, it must have like reset something, but now it's gonna be like now it's gonna be like insanity. It's gonna be like ultra pog lad. Okay. Oh baby, oh baby. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, I guess I guess the reason why I never went to uh, change the graphics back is because you can't do it from the actual like inside the game. Oh, that's some rip frames right there. Oh, it's still like loading stuff in. Oh, it's oh, it's going. I think if we wait if we wait like maybe a minute, I think everything will be kind of like rendered in. Uh, getting a loss of a couple frames. That sucks. How does the draw distance look, though? Alright, let's play like this for a few minutes and see how the performance is. Now that it's loaded in a bit. I would much rather have 60 frames per second, though. Which it looks like it's... Oh, it looks freaking beautiful, though. Yeah, it's definitely a, a little, a little less, but we'll give it a minute or two. Is automatic drop on? Yep. Is this Bob Ross or what? If it wasn't Bob Ross before, damn. I uh, will have to tweak some of the settings a little bit. We'll probably reduce the uh, render distance just a little bit. Oh, yeah, it doesn't even make that much of a difference. Like, we're at plus 200%, and I still can't even see the end of the field. So it's like, okay. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do like 180. If we if we keep dropping frames, which we're very rarely doing that, we'll uh, lower it down to 180. This seems fine though. It looks a little better, but not like not what I thought it would look like.
I would say for multiplayer, though, I'd actually like drop down the graphics a little bit just to... I mean, I would much rather have smooth gameplay than worry about graphics so much, but this seems good. Poglad. All these marshmallows. Oops. All this wrapping is going to get us thousands of dollars. Like, the amount of money we're going to make from this is pretty damn good. This field's quite, quite large. It's kind of picky about how it goes in there, though. Yeah, we're making egg rolls. The traditional way. Uh, we're making marshmallows for chat's uh, hot cocoa. How many bales are we up to, chat? There we go. Good progress.
We're at 32-33, okay. Oh, loading these will be really easy because we're just we're putting them all in the in the right spot. Got him. We got him. All right, nice. That should uh, take care of all the ones up top, right? Let's just make sure we got all the ones up top. Nice. No, there's a lot of them at the bottom. Yeah, we're going to make the rest of this into hay. Is there another one by the house? Okay. Yeah, we'll make sure we, you know, double and triple check to make sure we got them all. We won't leave without getting our stuff. Yeah, we're playing Heyday 2, the heist, as we uh, close in on getting money for silage. Takes a minute to unfold, it looks like. Now, does it start auto bailing on? Okay, no. Amen, brother.
couple more trips up and down the hill and we're good. And we're making some big old marshmallows. How do you know when you're low on bail wrap? It's infinite. For the game mechanics, it's just you you never run out of bail wrap. I don't even think it's an expense either. I think it's just unlimited and free. Like smashing the like button. Also unlimited and free. After this, we'll be doing more tedding, and then we'll have to do windrowing and gather hay bales. So that'll be fun. New member. Welcome. No way. A new member? No. Ah, Michael. Thank you very much for clicking the tab and joining and becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Three more to go. At least here. <laughs> Greetings, longtime commenter, first time watcher. Well, thank you, Kelvin, for tuning in. Appreciate the support. Very nice. How many bales fit on a loader trailer? Uh, the one we used last time, I think, was 24. No, it had to be an odd number because it loaded in groups of three. But it actually loaded up to 12. Plus, I think it was 24. I thought it ended in an odd number, but it must have been 12. Or no, 20... 24? That seem, 24 seems like too many. 12 seems like not enough. It was 24? That seems like too many. I thought it ended in like... 9... 19? Well, that means the row must have been... Uh, was it row of 8? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was 24 then. I was trying to think of how many times that I saw that thing push back before we had to go offload for the um, eight stacks of three. Yeah, okay. So it must have been eight times where that thing had to push back before we then brought it back to offload. So, that okay, that makes sense. Yeah, 24. Oh, right, right. You're right, you're right, you're right. 26 because we put two on the bail forks. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That. Yep, yeah, that, that's it. I remember saying that now. 
Oh, there's auto loading trailers, yep. Hi there, Chica. How are you? Welcome. got to have more around here somewhere. Let's go do a little patrol. So we've got a big group down here. Yeah, if we sell now, we'll probably make about 60,000 bucks. Well, actually, each one of those silage bales is about 3,500 pounds, or 3,500 um, liters, yeah. So if we sell now, it'd be 600 and, well, let's just round up and say, let's say it's 700 per thousand liters, and each of these are 3,500 liters, but we're not gonna sell now because the, um, we're gonna wait till the price goes up a little bit more. So we'll probably sell in January, so the price could double. So hopefully it's like twelve hundred. Um and hopefully it's like three uh three thousand five hundred. Oh, there's one there, I see it. Oh no, that's a bush. Did you guys see any more up here? I think we only need to go... I think we just need to go down. Uh, there was one in the big pile that went into the house. I don't know if anyone went over the road. Oh, the first one that I made. Oh, that one. Um, all right, we'll find that one last. Almost done, though. We'll find him. He has he hasn't gotten far. Whoa, okay. Well. Note to self, spread them out. So if you pack the bales too close to each other, they're territorial and they'll fight, it seems. So we need to spread them out. They seem to be territorial creatures. Yeah, it would be kind of funny if we could, uh, well, there used to be, I think there was a, there was a, an event that Giants did once where all the tractors had, like, buckets on them, and they could, um, they made, like, a giant beach ball, and 
they were doing like they were playing football like Rocket League. You know, like two V two or something like that. Where they made a giant beach ball and a giant goal. And they were trying to play like football with the tractors. Hi, Yvonne. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, a huge mug of hot cocoa would be nice. Be kind of cool if, uh, you know, if it were like Halloween, we could make these orange and like make a giant jack o' lantern face on all of them. That'd be kind of cool. Stack him as a snowman. There you go. Well, that'd be a lot of work. All right, I think I'm, I think that's all of them except for the one that went across the road. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Well, it's now getting cloudy. Now one went across the road. It didn't go into the water, so it must have been up top. Others joining the game later. Um, we might do a multiplayer farm with my friends later. Yeah, I think it's over here. Oh yeah, there he is, right there. We found him. Oh, come on, with the, 
the one FPS that the graphics aren't even like that intense. That's probably the shadowing. Oops. You're new to the channel, well, welcome aboard. You're still cracking up about the whole Harry relationship joke from the other day. What is your favorite number, Harry? My favorite number is blue. Oh, yeah. I was talking about how dating is much more difficult when you're young because you don't really have any sort of experiences or accomplishments in life. Forget about the whole just, like, dating and, like, being around the opposite or same sex uh, and, like, being in that romantic situation, but the... The thing is, is when you're younger, you don't, like, you don't have a lot of work experience, you don't have a lot of life experience, you don't have a lot of, like, you know, maybe you haven't been through university yet, or it's just awkward being in those situations when you're younger. Even job interviews are weird when you're younger. Like, the only thing is just, like, uh, you know, alright, welcome to, uh, the work, uh, what makes you qualify for the job? Can if something were on fire, could you call nine one one? Yes. Okay, you're hired. Now, there's really not many qualifications for like your first jobs and stuff. Or I mean, there's there's not much you can bring to the table really on your first couple of jobs, which is fine. That's that's why you need work experience. You can't just can't just start and be good. You work for Prestige Worldwide. Okay. Yeah, picking on Harry is funny. He's mad about that still. That's why he's been bothering me for like two or three days about gray hairs. I don't mind. Seems that the ladies don't mind either. Alright, let's make some more hay. Let's make some hay. Alright, so we're going to make hay and then we're going to windrow it and then we need to... Um, we need to Ted to make hay. We need to windrow and bale because we still need hay for the cows. They can't just eat grass. Rare hair me means you're wise. Well, I can certainly tell from my genetics that I'm not going to lose hair. It might turn gray, but I ain't going to lose it, so that's good. Harry's just jealous. No hair means you're stressed. Oh, then I should be bald. Yeah, then, then, then this hair is a miracle. That was 68 bales? Okay. Of silage. Now we're going to probably make another... Hopefully like 20 hay bales or so. How uh, Raptor, do you do makeup before streaming? Um... I mean, I do, I do hair. But you still chill, dog? Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, these, these streams have been chill, but... Uh, I think I, I let the whole YouTube thing get to me too much. Mostly because I can see them manipulating stuff in the back. It's that whole thing where it's like... You know, like... Somebody's poking you... In your shoulder, and you're like, Hey, man, could you stop poking me in the shoulder? I'm not poking you, dude. I'm not poking you. It's like, no, dude, you're, you're clearly poking... No, dude, I'm not... I'm actually not... It's like... The whole arguing is exhausting. I stress too much about that. I should really not care. Because they don't care either. Did I get the survey to fill out? Oh, YouTube sends me surveys and stuff all the time. At this point, it's just like... You guys are so cool and chill that it's like... I should just stream anyway. Like, even if YouTube's stupid... Success problems? Maybe. You More and more you guys have been asking me to go over to Twitch, and I would like to stream some stuff on Twitch from time to time, but... I don't know. That would take away from uploading YouTube videos, which I haven't done much this week because of... Well, one, because Farming Sim came out, and two, because Thanksgiving was around, so I was... I didn't have as much extra time 
Like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're just kind of like, prepare for Thanksgiving, and then after Thanksgiving, just chill. So, whatever. Plus, the more I complain, the less I seem thankful, and that's not the vibe I want to give off. Stay on YouTube. Well, I do I do have to diversify because now the channel is big enough where I can consider myself to be a brand or to be like a, you know, like I shouldn't just stay in one place because you could, YouTube could just turn off the channel for any reason. Like YouTube demonetized me once this year for two days because I played a, I played a game about like making elite I was playing a game about prohibition like you you were, you were a gangster during prohibition times like a mafia game where you were you were making a speakeasy and selling illegal alcohol on Twitch YouTube identified that as me supporting criminal organizations because the game had like ma the word mafia or something like cre creating alcohol and, you know it's like dude if YouTube's going to do that imagine It's just, I don't want to complain about it, but yeah, I need a, I need a backup plan. But, like, the options are Facebook, gross, Twitch, gross, or YouTube, gross. <laughs> I, got re I really, these platforms need to be more hands-off. Like, just, hey, if somebody's not, like, hurting themselves on stream or doing, like, setting a bad role model by, like, you know, abusing animals or something horrible... Like, I think we can all agree on what, like, the worst things are we don't want to see. You know, like, any sort of violence and stuff. Like, I don't... Dude, I just want to play games, dude. Like, violence I want to see in a boxing game or, like, in a shooting game. Or, like, this in a farming game. Like, I just want to... Like, this is just... You are all here because it's just chill. So, let's just be chill. I mean, yeah, I could stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, but the problem with Twitch is that if I, if you become a Twitch affiliate where you can start getting emotes and people can start sending cheers and and stuff like that, Twitch makes it so that way it would be against your contract on Twitch to stream on YouTube at the same time. So my options are saying everybody here who's a member and everybody here who likes watching me on YouTube, I'd have to say goodbye to you to then just stream to a much smaller audience on Twitch. Like, it would be a horrible business idea. It'd be like saying, okay, so we've got, we've got a big store in the middle of town and a lot of people come like coming to the store. There's a big road that leads to our, our store and everybody likes coming to the store. But if I'm gonna make a smaller store over closer to some other people's houses so they don't have to travel as far to be more convenient to them, I have to shut down the big store, too. What? Like, why not... You know, it's like, why not make a little shop somewhere, you know, in town, and have the big store somewhere outside of town? It's like, nope, can't do that. Twitch, do Twitch doesn't want you to own the big store if you're going to open the little store, and it's like, that's horrible. Now, I know there's some rules and contracts where, like, some people are allowed to do that, but I spoke with somebody in, like, 2017, a, a woman who told me, like, like, hey, if you start streaming for us, like, they were trying to buy me out from YouTube, and it was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll listen to your, you know, the channel was much smaller, and I, I, originally I wanted to stream on Twitch because YouTube streaming wasn't a thing until, like, 2014, 2015, and, uh... But this is where my bigger audience is, but I think I think Twitch Twitch has a much higher like on average, people watching now watch for only about five minutes, most people. They watch for five minutes and then that's it. That's the most that they'll watch of a live stream. On Twitch it's forty five minutes. Twitch is a much different uh, culture over there because Twitch has always been about live streaming, so people settle in for a long stream. Here on YouTube once the once the brain starts to wander, 
everybody starts remembering like, oh yeah, you have thousands of channels to watch, you have thousands of YouTube shorts to watch, you have thousands of other live streams to watch, you have other, th you have polls now, and you have p like pictures in the community tab, it's... Alright, now we gotta do wind rowing. Okay. So we'll need an auto loader trailer for the silage. And we'll need a uh Well, you yeah, tw I think I think Twitch is much better in many ways for the chat than YouTube. I think Twitch blows YouTube out of the water in many, many ways, but YouTube just copies. It's like what Streamlabs did. YouTube's just going to copy. So, according to YouTube in 2022, in the start of next year, YouTube's going to make a lot of changes to make the chat better and to make they're going to make streaming better. Now, they've been kind of vague for that. Like they have membership gifting coming, which makes me think that because YouTube wants money, they're going to force us to get rid of our lower tier options, hoping that you guys will gift, you know, like more higher tier memberships, which is going to be a, a business move for them because that's what they want. But then there could also be more features and more emotes and stuff that we can unlock too, so. Rumble is smaller but growing, yeah, but everybody who says rumble, rumble, rumble always says so <laughs> when they watch thousands of hours of YouTube, so it's like, it's hard to, it's hard to know where to go. And I sure as hell ain't gonna go over to Zuckland. That Zuck, Zuck's gonna have to cut a $50 million check if he wants me to go over to, to Facebook Live. He's gonna have to personally come to my house, bring a cherry pie and a $50 million check, and then I'll stream maybe once over on uh, Facebook Gaming. Maybe twice. Maybe twice. Maybe I'll be nice. They're going to rip off other apps and stuff? Yeah, I mean, what do you think YouTube Shorts is? YouTube didn't care anything about U Shorts until TikTok started to make a lot of money. They didn't care. Like, creators were... You know what a YouTube Short is? Uh, the first YouTube video. Like, any video on YouTube could be a short. You make a five-second... Like, what do you think, uh, you know... Like, all those earlier viral memes and stuff on YouTube were all just shorts. Even, uh, you know, like, Gundam style. Like, a three-minute three, three minute, uh, a three minute video, uh, music video, was still, like, a short. Well, now, I wonder if music's going to get shorter in the future. It's going to be, and that's it. And it's like, oh, that was a great song. I love that one. It spoke to my heart and soul. The part where it went, the beat went one and then two was amazing. The first, oh, the first note, and but the second, the way he ended the song with that second note was amazing. No one reaches me like, uh, little, 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 it's your boy. Yeah, YouTube Shorts. You know what I've seen for YouTube Shorts now? I've literally seen the TikTok watermark in the corner where somebody posted it onto Instagram, where then they screen recorded their post to Instagram of their TikTok on YouTube Short, dude. YouTube Shorts is just a recycling center for trash. That's all it is. It's generating money by literally just taking something that someone uploaded to TikTok, put onto their Instagram, and then recycled again to YouTube. It's 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 digital garbage <laughs> that's just being recycled and smelted down for profit. It's gross. Some of them are probably funny and stuff, but that's what Vine was, and they didn't want Vine to be a thing. Oh, we can't we can't have people watching these short videos. We can't allow that. That would cut into our ad time. Oh, they're going to watch it anyway? Oh, okay, well, we'll stuff 14 uh, three-second 14 three ads before you get to watch the four-second uh, baby sneezing video, which is totally cute. Digital garbage emote? That's the channel's logo. Lol. Got him. Okay, uh, let's get back to work. We're going to buy a... Um, we need to buy a... Um, should we do the auto loader? Or do we want to do a wind rower? Auto loader. Let's do an auto loader. And I might need to do a bale tr uh Oh damn. I didn't think about this, but I need to start storing them. 
All right, well, let's do this. I'll uh, release this again. And then we'll have to, we'll, we'll just have to start, because I'm not going to sell these till January, so I guess they can sit around for a couple months. Damn, it's almost 5 o'clock. Don't you need to shred the silage bales? Not to sell them. You can just sell them straight up from the trailer. Uh, when we bring them to the uh, biogas plant, though, you you can like you can cut them open and like dump them into the top of the shredder, but you, you don't have to. Can you make merch that says digital garbage? Yeah, I need to do something with my merch store. All right, I can't stand this anymore. This this frame rate's too trash because of the shadows and stuff. Uh, Mr. Smooth Productions, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for your high tier support. Thank you. Right, I'm going to change some of the shadows and stuff so it doesn't run as iffy. Let's lower terrain distance to 180. Uh, let's put shadow distance to medium. Oh, that should be fine. Welcome again, Mr. Smooth Productions. Woo! Thank you very much. You know, I didn't notice too much difference when we turned the graphics up. It's it's not too much different. Although the... the uh, I can't believe I had it on like 720p for the longest time. Well, I couldn't really tell with the game because it's it still looks beautiful minus all that. There we go. That looks good. drop in a frame or two but I'll, I'll give it a minute or two to load in the city and stuff good thing on twitch gifted subs yeah but youtube has that coming soon too but we as creators have been told telling them that we wanted that for a long time and they were like pipe pipe down get back into your hole we're making youtube shorts get back in your cage and then they hit some of us in the rib cage with a mop handle and I don't care. All right, let's go pick up these bales and start making money. Well, we're going to store them. So we'll probably store them in that uh, pad that's next to the... Uh, next to the cows uh, mop handle I figured cattle prod no mop handles are cheaper All right, nice. Well, this is gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a long day. They treat you like an existing, yeah, yeah. They treat you like an existing customer. You know, like when you call Comcast and you're like, "Hey, I have a problem." Yeah, hey, pipe down. Don't call us again. Meanwhile, you call and you're like, "Hey, I want to cancel my service." Oh my God, what's wrong? Oh. A representative right now is on the way to to cuddle you with a blanket and tell you everything will be okay. Uh, your bill is going to be negative one million dollars for the next fifty months. Okay, I guess I'll stay. Fool! 
You fool! We were just lying. Yeah, I remember going to... I remember to go go into Comcast once when I was switching to high I was switching to high speed fiber optic and I was going to go to the Comcast store to like return my router and stuff and like it's like reverse drill sergeants where it's like like two guys kind of like came over and like were trying to talk me out of it but it was like instead of being drill sergeants and being mean they were being nice and they were like oh yeah we have the most reliable service in America it's like no dude no whatever you're trying to say is no How long is a day in this game? You can actually set it to real time. So right now we've been streaming for about 4 hours and 17 minutes, so... It was uh, earlier in the day when we started the stream. You can also speed up the time times 120 if you want to. Yeah, if you guys have uh, logo ideas for t-shirts and stuff, if you guys are artistically talented in any way and want to design something for the channel, go right ahead. Um... whatever like if you want to do something for a portfolio or something and just show me something like go right ahead you don't you don't need my permission to like make fan art or something but i will eventually be uh requesting like um animations and stuff so if anybody's good with that that's going to be a whole different level that's like really complicated art's one thing but like animations whole whole nother ball game i'll be willing to start paying for some of that stuff so if you're an artist or know somebody who is just drop a DM and send me some samples. I'll pay you if we use something for like a t-shirt. That'll be cute. But I have no ideas. I'm not talented at all. So I have no idea. Well, it's getting dark out now a little bit because of the clouds. Yeah, the time's uh, set to real time. <laughs> now, if I had a bail spike, we could carry two more, but that's fine. Yeah, we're going to sell this in January, so we're going to store it for a few months. And we might be able to uh, do this again. This seems like completely tedious, which it is, but uh, the amount of money we'll make from it is going to be totally worth it. Alright, let's go drop this off. Yeah, we do have a Teespring store. The link for that's down below in the description. We do have some cool stuff already, some pretty cool merch. Yeah, that looks good. Hmm. We need to store these for a few months, so they got to be out of the way. What we could do is if we store these in a nice pile, later on we could just use the bale forks to load them up onto a flatbed. 
It'll be a little more tedious than the autoloader, but autoloader's better for fields. Nice. Beautiful. Now right, let's do it again. I think we should be able to make... Wait, how many did we have? We, we probably now almost four, four trailer loads. Oh boy. That'll be like three and a half or three and three fourths or something. making TMR for the cows? Uh, not yet. I certainly want to, though. We'll need, uh, we have grass, we have hay, we have silage. I want to sell a lot of this, but we'll, uh, I think we'll need to get a lot more money first and build a, a lot bigger cow barns and, uh, get the equipment. We need a lot of cash. A lot of cash for the barns, a lot of cash for the cows, a lot of cash for the equipment. Yep, this is Farming Sim 22. Very satisfying to pick these up. Very satisfying. There's a bale in their yard, is it?
Pam, 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 pam. That's it, we got a full load. Time to go drop off again. Bird. Yeah, we still got to do a lot of wind rowing for the hay now. You're an all star. That'll fit nice and neat next to each other. Space them out a little bit more, though. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, in the American map, I wish the uh, traffic would be a little heavier. Um, and in the town, I wish it was uh, based on the road where the traffic would be coming through. You know, like an avenue probably going to be a little more populated than the street. A highway probably going to be a little busier than the avenue. But it's okay. Occasional traffic's not bad. Yep, first try. First try. But for real, though. All right, let's go find some more marshmallows. AI traffic's brutal, though. They'll they'll plow right into you. They don't care. Maybe traffic lights? Oh yeah, I don't I don't think there's any traffic lights in the game at all. I could only imagine there being traffic lights maybe in the American town and maybe in the in the city of like these European ones, maybe. Wow, we still got a lot of marshmallows.
Starting a farm some, from scratch? Yeah, we could do that. It's just going to take, like, more time, really. Maybe eventually. Soon. Well, there's your realistic beacon lights right there. That's pretty cool. Alex is not with us today. You guys make it sound like he died. Which I agree, he's dead to me as well, chat. I agree. If we say his name enough times, he'll he'll appear. Uh, maybe. So the legend goes. I thought there was more. Oh yeah, there's two there, and then we've got to wrap the one that's near the house. Do you still have the orange glasses from your earlier streams? I sure do. Chat's got those glasses too. It's a bright day out, chat. You better you better put those on. Just returned from US jet lagged. Oh. He didn't drop by, yeah, he. That's interesting. Not mad, just severely disappointed. Huh. Okay. That's fine. Well, that does it for the bales uh, of silage. Hope we don't. I really hope we don't need any more grass ones. We'll see. Thirty cows and sixty-five sheep. We'll see. And then again, we can always do more mowing. All right, let's drop this off, and then we'll start making hay bales. But we'll need a windrower for that. Yeah, I got a lot of colors. I got, like, yellow ones, but they don't seem to work right, because the, uh, the camera will think that the yellow glasses are, like, green. If I'm ever nearby, I'll let you know I stayed in New Hampshire. Oh, that's nearby. That's nearby. Earth is nearby. But don't apologize to me, okay? Apologize to chat for being gone. They missed you. Welcome back, Yahi. Oh, my God. Sorry, ma'am. 
Good thing I'm a YouTuber and I have the right of way. <laughs> Frosted mini wheat bales, yeah. Oh boy. This trailer is uh, cumbersome. Well, yeah, when, when two combustion engines meet in the wild, the superior horsepower has the right of way. Yeah, of course, I mentioned light traffic, and then there's two, two cars. I don't know why I have to put this arm out to offload. It seems awfully weird that this arm would have to be down for it to offload. I don't, I don't get it. But this will be a fine fit. There we go. Excellent. So that's uh, 24 plus 24 plus, what was that, 12? Let's see, I don't know, that's way more. 3, 6, 9, 12. Um, 15, 12, 13 billion, 4, carry the 3. I'm just thinking about all the money we can get. Alright, so how many uh, bales is that, chat? 18, and then two time, 24 times 2, so 18, 48, and then whatever we make for the hay, the hay bales, which could be like, let's say, another 8. Oh, God. Let's say we're going to make 60 bales. I, I think in total we're going to make 60 between the hay bales and the silage. Man, that's, that's a lot of work. All right, well, we're gonna make some more bales then, so we need a windrower. 11 teen, yes. Okay, well, now we gotta get a windrower. that there for now. Now we gotta figure out what we wanna buy for a wind rower. I think the one we used before was pretty good. Um, I think we'll just get that one again. What is that under? I think it is wind rowers, yeah. And we used this one, which worked out pretty good. Although it moves it all to the right, which which would be fine. Now, the more equipment we lease, the more likely it is to be on sale next month. Make the hay bales one size larger and you get easy TMR mix. Yeah, we could do that. Well... The other thing I need for TMR is going to have to be, like, the minerals and stuff. And I need to get a mixing wagon then. And a few other things, so. But first I'm thinking about, like, uh, the sheep don't need TMR. We have sheep too, so I need grass regardless. So we have a trailer for grass. We have bales for grass. And then we have... We're going to get hay. And then eventually we'll start working on TMR. We can do a Wendy's live stream when I come visit. Okay. You've convinced me. Yeah, in order to use emotes, you need to become a member. So if you'd like, just smash that like button and uh, get a lovely little badge next to your name. Your name highlighted in green, a bunch of emotes to use, uh, extra giveaways and such in the Discord and the members section. But everybody's also eligible for giveaways. You just got to be on the Discord. Which is free for everybody, so exclamation point Discord as well. Alright, so I think we're going to end up with like 60 bales in total. Like, I think we have like 50 or some odd uh, silage bales with another like 8 or so hay bales. 
I'm not even gonna try to count. I've just I've lost I've lost all hope. Just overwhelming. Oh, it's talking to the ducks and the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. Well, we don't have too many cows at the moment. We have 30, I think. We have two things of uh, 15. What we really need is just, like, we need income. We need, like, base income. So we need to just make sure we're doing enough things to continuously generate money so that way we can then start making... We gotta make money from making money. Mm. Alright, let's do it. What's windrowing? Essentially what we're doing is we're taking all the materials that we've um, cut up, like for example in this case hay, and we're putting it into one nice little long row so that way it can easily uh, be put into the baler. So we're, we're like making a really compact line, or like a, like a hump of grass, or in this case hay, that the machine can easily pick up. So we're, like, we're sweeping it into a nice little pile, you see? I'm not sure how much the cows will eat. Uh, we could we could play this game day by day, or we could do it month by month. It it all depends on what we want to do. I mean, you can play the game as fast or as slow as you want. If you're playing individually and you're trying to do like a generic farm and not like if you're starting in the American or the European map, uh, in the France map, you don't you don't get any uh, cattle or anything to start with. So uh, livestock and stuff you don't start with. You can buy them right away if you want to, but. It's a good idea to do some other things first, like, um, you know, upgrade some base equipment. Because if you're going to start taking care of, ch like, chickens and eggs are really profitable and really recommended, but they take a lot. Like, we have two um, chicken coops on our other map of about 600 and something chickens. Actually, probably closer to 800. And um, they consume, like, 44,000 liters of wheat every year. And that means that we got to do like two giant field harvests just to take care of them. Otherwise, it's too expensive just to buy them feed. It, neg it like negates the price. It cancels it out, so it's no bueno. Yeah, otherwise we got to buy about $6,000 worth of feed for them every month, and it just cuts into the profits quite a bit over the course of a year. You know, because the price of eggs fluctuates, but I don't think the price of the feed would fluctuate, so no matter what, it's $6,000 every time. You know what I saw, by the way? Yesterday, more people on Steam were playing Farming Simulator than they were playing Battlefield 2042. There's like 70 to 80,000 people were playing this game, and like 64,000 were playing Battlefield. 
Gamers' interests have changed. You want to send me some art and stuff? Yeah, keep trying through the Discord. If not, you can email it to me. Uh, email should be on the channel in the About section. Yeah, gamers really aren't interested in the whole kill destroy as much anymore. Now it's it's actually quite fun to build and um, work with people, being uh, cooperative is much more interesting than competitive sometimes. Battlefield 2042 is also really bad, or is farming simulator just really good? Hmm. Wait until we get Farming Sim 2042. We'll be harvesting uh, maggots and crickets. After the Seventh World War is over. Okay, let's keep rolling. Yeah, hover tractors, yeah. Algae farming. The algorithm would have taken over and it will decide who lives and dies. Otherwise known as Terminator 2. If you think about it, Skynet was just a YouTube algorithm. If you think about it, really. It was the trust and safety bot. That's why I killed everybody for trust and safety. Everyone was safe. I think Kyle Reese was wrong. He just didn't believe in trust and safety. Kyle Reese violated TOS. Just think about it. Kyle Reese violated Skynet's terms of service and Skynet went back in time to find Kyle Reese when he tried to escape from the TOS. There's no escape, Kyle. That's why you're dead. Okay. I'm going to try to make one big O row here, see if we can actually, uh... Like, stack up the hay in one line. You almost passed out in your chair from how chill this is? Now, one's in chat if you're sleeping. If you're sleeping while watching the stream right now, just wake up and one's in chat. Also, if you're uh, sleeping, make sure you reach over and tap that uh, like button, too.
Oops. Yeah, the conveyor style wind row is still in the game. Right now we're kind of using the more cheaper option. This isn't too... This isn't that big of an operation. I'm going to try to condense everything into one big uh, wind row, though, for stacking. Hmm. I think there's more hay over there, too. Hey, Arnold. Sweeping it up. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Boys, thanks for the 800 likes. Appreciate the support. Hope you're all enjoying your Monday. Thanks for being here on the old farm. Dairy farm it is. Ah, real monsters, yeah. You hit the two-year mark, did you? Wait, Edgarth, holy crap. Two years? Wow. Send your, uh, make your little milestone message on YouTube. Send a little milestone message. Oh, that, there it is. That must be it coming now. Oh, it's Isaac Roop, who has become a raptor egg. Welcome aboard, Isaac. Thank you very much for your support. Ah, there you go. Edgarth with the raptor hatchling for 25 months. Wow. Big o crazy support. Thank you very much, ma'am, for the support. Oh, we're going to try to windrow this, too. I'm going to try to keep scooting things to the right side up the hill. So that way we can keep uh, one big old windrow here. Okay.
All right, well, we'll try to make this as nice as possible, but the windrower is going to, I mean, the baler is going to have to go to a couple different spots. It'll be all right, though. That's a lot of ramen packets there in chat. Wow. So this is the magical raptor chat. Interesting. It is pretty magical. It is true. You've been watching the content forever. I think we'll have to call this uh, milking at farms because at this point I've been playing this farming sim 22 for so long. It's like it's like we're milking everything we can out of it. But honestly, I don't. We're still doing, like, all the basic stuff in the game. We've tried to do the logging. We've tried to do, you know, a regular farm and stuff. It, it's worked out pretty good. Milking it farms. All right, I'm going to go back the other way. Well, I think this is going to make quite a bit of uh, windrows, actually. Or uh, bales. More than I thought. I was expecting, like, what, eight? I think we'll probably get maybe 12 out of this. Do I read my Instagram messages? Uh, sometimes, I guess. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh stop, 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 stop. Jeez. Damn worker. All right, well, I think we're going to have to come over with the uh, with the baler because this is just going to be too tedious for the windrower to get every little bit. We need a John Deere now. Well, we're probably going to go with more like European style tractors and or smaller tractors. When is Company Heroes 3 coming out? Good question. I'm not sure. Ah, boy. Terry Stone, you started watching uh, the stream yesterday. It's really good. Looking forward to watching many more. Well, thank you very much, uh, Terry, for, for watching and hanging out with us. Thanks for dropping in. All right, so now the goal is to make a bunch of hay bales and then transport those bales back to the farm and then store them after feeding the... The only thing that really seems to take hay bales is the cows, so we'll be doing that till the cows come home, technically. Let's switch to hay now. Hay now. Oh, it looks like this thing can pick up grass, too, and it counts as hay. That's good. I think that's hay. That better be hay. Let's see. Oh, it's grass, because it had to finish up doing grass. Okay. Now it should do hay. Hopefully. It's kind of mixed over here, so we'll see. I think that's grass, too. That's grass, that's hay. Oh, maybe it was a hay bale. Oh, it is, because now it's stacking 4,500 rather than 3,500. That's got to be a hay bale. Oh, no, it's grass. What the hell? Yeah, 
It is hay? Okay. I thought so because the amount changed. We used to only be able to stack 3,500 for grass. This is now 4,500 liters for hay. Oh, yeah. Owned by my farm, hay, 4,500, 235 kilograms. Okay. We got it. It kind of looks the same. That's a lot of hay there. Woo. Hey, hey. All right, so that's number three. Oh yeah, we're going to end up with more than eight. Yeah, it looks like grass, doesn't it? How to go to the shop screen without going to the shop? Uh, you can press P on your keyboard. But if you're on console, I'm not sure. Can I join? Absolutely. Exclamation point. Join us. Become a member today to join our farm.
Oh, uh, no, you don't. He tried to escape. You ain't going nowhere, sir. Hey, Bale trying to escape. Oh, it's select on controller? Okay. Helpful chat is helpful. Dismantle's available on Steam. You'd love it? I did love it. That's why we did quite a few streams on it. Oh, I like that game. This should roll, but I think it'll go into the ditch. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. He's not going to go too far. Well, luckily we don't have to wrap these up. These are just going to go right onto a trailer and then right into storage. Additionally, I think we can get a hay barn. Oh, that was was that our tenth bale? Okay. Well, our eleventh bale is free then. there was a hole. Oh yeah, I saw that before. Uh. And we're going to have to windrow that a little bit. Well, at this rate, we're probably going to end up with like like 24. We still got to do... We're probably going to get four more around this lap, and then we get, we still got to do that center row, which is like... That center row is going to be huge. And that should roll into the rock. Let's see where it goes. Pretty close. Oh, chance really counting the bales now. Playing on hard mode? Well, I am alone, so, I mean, it's certainly tedious mode. 
But we did like a easy start um, working alone on our own dairy farm. It's been fun though. Certainly for these streams, we want a little bit more progression to keep everyone, including myself, interested in what we're doing. So it's been good. Oh, that's oh, that's a runaway. Uh oh. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 ma'am, ma'am, okay. Wow. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's majestic, isn't it? The grass bale migration of 2021. Gorgeous. It was a beautiful year for their migration. Noble and majestic. Let's keep on trucking, brother. Amen. Missed the spot. There we go. Hay bales are as endangered as they are beautiful. I think that was the Central European hay bale. It's like Sarah Connor driving off into the sun at the beginning of t at the end of uh, Terminator One. Oh, is this one going to hit a tree? Oh. Yeah, there's a storm coming. <laughs> there always seems to be a car, too. It's always like perfect timing. Yep, every time. It's like the game detects that we're close to the... Oh, that'll be fine. The game detects that, like, we're close to the road and then, like, spawns a car. You see, bales, uh, find a way. That's better land to dump, drop on. Oh, 
Alright, that's gonna make a lot of bales right here. It's gonna be a lot. Did we ever find out why canola oil is so heavy? I think that's probably something that should be patched in the game. They, they made those pallets like so... Um, just like... Like it looks like it's like a hundred pounds of canola, but they made it a thousand kilograms. It's weird. bales are free spirits that's right just like whiskey at a wedding all right well we could do the windrowing on this one but it'll just be easier to drive back and forth a little bit we should still be able to make maybe like two more bales Maybe three. Do you have to wrap hay? No. Not to make, uh... That was just to make silage. This will be for the cows just to eat once we put it in their trough. Have we had the issue where the... Con yeah, you do the contract and it deletes? Yeah, I've seen that before where we accept a contract and then it's just gone. That has happened about three times or so where... We see a contract, and it's like, oh, let's do that contract, and then we accept it, and then it's gone. 
pretty annoying. Okay. Some more hay here. How long did it take to do this field? Yeah, about four or five hours or so, yeah. Makes the work very satisfying. Yeah, you can hire workers in this game, but unfortunately it won't work for what we're doing right now. Like they won't they won't be smart enough to get all the little bits of hay and grass and stuff that we're trying to get. Square balers are in the game. Luckily, this will be pretty easy. Once we pick up all the, um, once we pick up all these bales, all we gotta do is drop them. We can use the um, auto uh, auto trailer for this one, as so long as they don't escape. Okay, so we probably can make one more hay bale. There's probably enough hay around for that. But we'll find it. Okay, let's go get the uh, auto stacker and let's see what we can do. Yeah, there's some more hay there. There's probably enough to make one more bale. There's some there too. Lots around. Orange games on the right side of the schedule. Oh, uh, it's a mental note for me about games that I want to play but I might not have time for. It's like a backup. Just notes for me. All right, here we go.
How much is hay worth? I think it's actually worth less than grass. But if we're going to sell anything, it's only going to be the silage. A few more bales to go. Eighteen out of twenty four. block out there somewhere. Alright, we need uh, well, we can carry two more. I know there's one more on the road somewhere. And there's one more down there that we can't get. Because we're full. Alright, we're going to have to pick that one up manually. Wow. I can't believe we made 24 out of that. I guess I could put it next to the silage. Side of the silo, uh, we could do that too. Mm. 
Yeah, that'll be all right. Until it folds back up. That's fine. There it goes. Alright, we'll just grab that other one with the bail fork. The other one that went loose on us. We got two more here, and then we've got uh, one more that's rogue in the field. So we, we can just pick these up by, uh, I think, manually. In fact, I could just probably just feed them to the cows right now. So we'll take those two up top and one in the bottom field, and we'll start feeding the cows with the hay. And that'll be fine. What map is this? This is the uh, El Elgarot map. This tractor is fantastic for maneuvering. Most of the time. Yeah, I use a steering wheel, but not not at the moment. I'm using just an Xbox controller. All right, there should be a car coming. There usually is. No. All right, let's start feeding the cows hay. Farm's looking good, I agree. It's a very nice design farm. There we go.
Okay. Now we got one more to get that I'm aware of. You want me to write my name in all the tractor tracks? Yeah, I guess you could technically do that. I think we might be able to make one more bale. I'm going to feed these two to the cows and the other two as well. I see. When their food is empty, it'll start taking only taking from those bales. So there's a maximum of total food. So we should probably move this grass bale out of the way. To make room for the hay. Okay. Uh, this is too small pastures for the cattle. We're saving up for a medium one soon. Oh, wow. We'll just leave these here on standby. Nope, we haven't done any forestry work in this map, but we've done it before on previous streams. Pretty cool. All right, so we'll leave those two bales there for grass when they need it. And then the next time that they eat food, it'll it'll add hay to it. Okay, the next thing is to try to make one more bale. Alright, so we need to return the wrapper and the bale trailer, but everything else is ours, and this tractor too. We have to return that.
Yeah, Alright, where's the rest of our hay? Uh, yep, we're finishing up all the hay gathering now. The hell? There. We have sheep. We fed them and we gave them water and now they just need to do their thing. We'll have to wait a couple months, you know, for them to make um, wool for us to sell. Alright, we got two bales down here. Didn't even see those. So we'll pick those up with the uh, tractor. Okay. Nice. Well, I think that's all the hay that we were going to gather. I don't see any more. Nice, now we'll grab that other tractor. There. Is that a bale? No. Alright, so we have what? I see only one more that we haven't been able to get. Right over there by the roundabout. How many will be left in the field? Just one? I think there's just one more. Wow, that was a lot of bales. That's good though. Like all this work means that we've stored up the cows for a long time. Now they can have milk for a long time. Or food for milk. <sighs> can you damage buildings if you crash into them? Uh, no. Can't really damage anything by crashing.
Well, these two should disappear, I think. No, actually, I think they're... Their food is full. There you go. Alright, so two hay bales there, two hay bales there. Nice. Then we have grass bales on standby. If they run out of food, we can add a little extra grass. And we have silage, which we'll sell in January. And more grass bales there. Alright, let's go grab the bales. You just got home from work. Stream is how you uh, re relax, so that's good. I'm glad you guys like the streams. Thanks for becoming members. Thanks for smashing and join. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, silage is either uh, December or January. Okay, I see the other one up there. It's the winter months that we got to sell. So we got to hold on to this for like at least three months or so. And then reassess. Yeah, and this tractor is just fantastic for uh, bales. I love it. You subscribed two days ago? Well, thank you. Okay, that's fine. Any others, chat? Well, for as much work as that was, we hopefully have enough food to feed the cows for the rest of the... Well, not only just the year, but like into like spring of next year. So we'll have to go through the rest of August... September, October, November, December, January, February, and then probably around March. Can we slaughter the cows? Eh, yes and no. You can, you can buy like, you know, like younger cows, like for example, Angus cows, and then you can, um, you can you can buy them when they're young, and then you can do like you can breed the cows as well. But um, then what you can do is. Um, you can sell them when they get older, when they get heavier, and then you can kind of like sell them after they've grown up. But I don't, I don't even know if that's really worth it. Seems like a lot of work. Um, just for what seems to be a little bit of money. It seems like dairy will give you more than... Um, like continuously having the, the cow make milk seems way more beneficial than like a one-time sale for food. Yeah, we'll try... <laughs> Yeah, we'll turn them into venison, yeah. Hundred percent all beef venison. Yeah, right, we're gonna kinda try to manage these bales a little bit.
Well, this will be a little sloppy, but it, eh, 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 it'll be all right. Just if you don't look at it, you know. Okay, we're good. Beef in the Krabby Patty. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. There we go. All right, so hopefully they have a little less um, grass, a little more hay eventually. Uh, the game needs burger process. Well, there is a fast food restaurant, so... And the fast food restaurant will buy lettuce and tomato and beef and eggs. So it'll, it'll make all sorts of stuff. It, it almost works more like a... Kind of more, works more like a Denny's than a fast food restaurant, but... I mean, at least you got a place in town to sell your stuff. Alright, so the next order of business will be to go and sell, or rather return, all of our stuff that we rented today. Actually, I'll go park over here. The blue tractor can do that. Well, thank you, Lisa, for watching. Oh, we also have to re uh, return the mowing equipment. Holy crap. So we rented mowing equipment. We rented an uh, autoload trailer. We rented a... Um, uh, a bale, uh, not a baler, but a, uh, a wrapper. Okay. Okay, so now we have a ton of silage. We can, we can probably, like, do some TMR out of that if we, if we rent for it, but I think we should focus more on, uh, more cows first. If we, ba if we make more cows a kind of more of a medium medium level mix we'll be able to make more milk and that'll be the more profit because milk is selling for let's see I wish there was a way to organize this alphabetically oh there it is milk is so we have 206 liters and this is per thousand liters so we could sell uh, this is the cheese factory basically so the cheese factory is buying 1,000 liters per 2,482 per thousand liters so we, <laughs> it's not much money at the moment. Uh, and the best time to do milk would be what? Milk is high in October and January. So that's coming up. So we may as well save all of our milk until October. All of our wool until May. Let's see if we can teleport to our sheep now. And we'll make this look much nicer. I'm not really fully happy with how this appears. It's kind of like, uh, we'll smooth it out. We'll make it look good. You've seen our other farms. All these heat lamps, too. Oh, how nice. Oh, look at that. Their health is going up. Hey, there we go. And we got our first little bit of, uh, of wool. 51 liters of wool. Very nice. And the sheep's health should continue to increase now that they've got food. Is there a way to take a look and make sure that they don't eat anything else? Grass, just grass, yeah. So when the cows get, when they start eating more food, the hay will increase and the grass will go down. So we probably want like a 50-50 mix for now and then productivity will increase over time when we get the TMR. So total mixed ration is like um, grass, hay, minerals, and silage, I think, right? We'll figure it out. Liquid manure tank. Oh, right. Oh, we can do fertilizing, too. 
Or just sell that to the biogas plant. Or something. The silo is empty. Really? That's empty? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you guys still haven't made milk? Come on, let's let's go. Let's move it. Let's make some milk. Mainly used for dairy farming. Well, they'll milk, they'll make milk soon enough. Yeah, we could we could make butter. Cheese sells for quite a bit too if we if we buy the cheese uh, production chain. All we got to do is buy that building. Cheese will sell for wow six thousand at the supermarket. Ooh, baby. Let's take a look at the how much this thing would be. Oh, only fifty thousand. Wow, that's really not that much. Very cool. Well, we could try to put down some more uh, more sheep too. Yeah, we could put like some more paddocks and stuff down here. Wherever else we have flat land. This area really didn't have any flat land at all. It, but man, was that fun to mow. And we'll do some mow maybe later tonight. I'll see you guys at least in an hour for another stream. Maybe a farm simulator, maybe something else. So if you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button on the way out. Would love to see a thousand likes from everybody on the way out. So make sure you smash like. We're almost there. You guys are awesome. So we'll come back for maybe our multiplayer PM uh, stream or maybe more of this. We'll see. But I'm really in the mood for more farming sim. Thanks again for all the big O super chats. Welcome again to all the new members. Thank you guys for subbing. And I'll see you all very soon for more. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.